Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. <clears throat> what happened there? <laughs> ah, caught my throat. Uh, your best source for the newest Atari Hello, games, and babe. tonight... Yay, thank you, Teleprompter. Thank you for resubscribing, Teleprompter, tonight. We're going to be playing some Lynx games. Four Lynx games, mm -hmm. in fact. Um, the guy who makes all my other signs says he's going to make a Lynx for me. Oh, really? This one is a magnetic one you put on your fridge it's oh. all i could find um it'll oh, do for now good for now it just it's doesn't sit up too very well. tiny does it attach to the screw maybe oh maybe ha -ha. oh there we go kind of that kind of works uh, it's visible yeah good <laughs> Yay. idea uh yeah we're gonna be playing four links games today That's on awesome. duty uh actually they're all from oco Okay. And I got the official pronunciation of that name. It's Ocio? Not, yep, it's not Ocio. It's Ocio. Ocio. Just like the letters. O C O. Excellent. I will probably not remember that for next I'll time. I'll try and remember I'll that. I'll try. Um, <laughs> we're going to be playing On Duty, uh, Bug Hunt, Fortitude, and the Lawnmower. Okay. Um, all made within the past uh, three, four years. Uh, all by the Ocio team. Um, but I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers uh, yeah. for keeping the cats well fed. Yes. Uh, um, In the treats. Yes. Uh, Armscar Coder, Atari Night 74, Atari HB, Poco, Charles Donnie Mao, Charles Willen, Chitlila, Cole Patch One, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Darren Light to 70, Dr. Moo Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Offender, Gianni WC, Kibuto, Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, <laughs> Croco 2600, Developed for Lambda Express, Learn to Z, Marco, Johannes, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Lotel, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother Three Monsters, Arnold, mm -hmm. Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nostalgic 26, Pack Rat, VG Quad, 2600, Arraiman, CRC 70, Render, Ghost Repentless, VG 6, Sweet. Smitty B, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, Dicky Dan K, Trek MD, VVG, Double Down. I don't see Darcy's name on that list. <gasps> Darcy. Darcy, get on it. Come on. <laughs> um, if you want to support the show, like Teleprompter, Dan AVC, Al Nafur, and S. Ramirez did just before the show, nice. or during the show, um, you can do it for free with Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. uh, it links up to Twitch, and you get a free sub. Did you know that? Kittens knew that, except they don't. They don't have. They should have. They Twitch share. Our, they share our Amazon Prime, though. That's so true. That's we only true. have one, and Tanya uses it. Yeah, it's true. To sub to the show. Yeah. Hi, you're so <laughs> cute. Um, I have a poll question with a lot of answers. Let's see what the poll so question sweet. is. Start it up. What is the second worst controller for second. an Atari system? Second worst controller? What would be the first? Everyone knows what the worst oh, I see. controller is for the Atari system. Okay, fair enough. It's an Atari 5200 controller. Very well, very well. Uh, none of them have survived. Yeah. Original ones, they just don't work. I'd okay. be surprised if anyone has a working, Original? untouched, unmodded, unrefurbished 5200 controller. Gotcha. From okay. the original. Fair enough. I have six of them. None of them work. You have six of them? Yes. <laughs> um, so the options are the Atari CX10 slash 40 joystick, which is a, came with the 2600 and 8-bit system, mm -hmm. and uh, also the XEGS. Um, the Atari Paddle for the 2600. Atari Driving mm. Controller for the 2600. Atari Keyboard Controller slash Kids Controller. 2600 the remote remote control wireless joystick for the 2600 which okay. i've never used okay so i can't say how good or speak, bad they are. yeah yeah speak to that one. uh the trackball for the 2600 slash 8-bit that's not bad is it? um the pro line trackball for okay. the 5200 okay that's a it's that big it's huge okay it's almost as big as the actual controller uh console i don't have it though uh atari pro line for the 7800 hmm. That's the North American version. Atari Joypad okay. for the 7800. That's a European with the with the thumbstick wow. on it. Um, XG1 light gun for the 7800 slash XEGS. There are a lot so, of controllers, right? And, and <laughs> the these Atari are just systems. the these are just the official. Yeah, controllers. not not all the second party ones, right? Uh, Atari, yeah, Atari Lynx D pad for one or two version. Take your pick. Um, an Atari Pro controller for the Jaguar, which I yeah. actually like a lot. Oh, it actually cut off number 12. There's a limit. Oh, really? <laughs> so, what was number 12? Uh, what I just said, Atari Pro controller for Pro the Jaguar. Pro controller for the drag Jaguar, okay. Um, 
I would. I don't really <laughs> like the original joystick for the twenty six hundred. I know it's oh. blasphemy. <laughs> um, it's very tight. Yeah. That's my biggest problem with it. When you move it, it feels like you don't even move it. Like you press to the right, and it's yeah. and it's resisting. Yeah. Yeah. There's no travel. Um, Blasphemous. I know. It is. <laughs> S. Ramirez just said one is the best, and then you just said you didn't like one. And and also, yeah. And also, <laughs> just the form factor is just too small yeah. for my hands. I have to like grab it by the base, <laughs> cancel the show immediately, <laughs> shut it down. Oh, play, teleprompter agrees. With play you. the outro. There we go. Um, I find the paddle, the driving controller, both very good. Yeah. The keyboard controller is just fine. Yeah. It's responsive. Um, I don't know about the remote uh, control wireless joysticks. I'm guessing they use the same mechanism, except they have a huge base, and that's the yeah the wireless control. I saw the every every tower collections uh, put up five, which I assume oh. is the the remote uh, yep. one. So do they work really poorly? Like they, they could. Yeah. Not. They interfere with your neighbor's uh, garage door. Um, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's why they recalled them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. Yeah. Um, trackball, uh, I find it pretty good. Uh, the Proline Trackball 5200, I've never used it. I haven't heard anything bad about it. Now, now thank you for Daryl subscribing, Daryl1970. Ten months. Um, the Proline. That's notorious. Yes. It's called the Pain Line. Yes. yes. Um, I have used it for a sh short period of time, and yeah. it does. It's so small larger like adult hands don't wrap around it properly oh and that's really the problem it's so big um, that you don't the wrap hands around are it. big okay. and the controller's skinny Small. okay right? yeah so it gets really crampy and uncomfortable <laughs> second worst yeah there is an obvious worst it's a 5200 yeah they're all broken all of them <laughs> all broken <laughs> if it worked right yeah and it had self-centering as well. There's a number of things. Another issues to, with it. Gotcha. Um, it probably wouldn't be too bad. Um, mm. uh, the 7800 European uh, thumbstick I found is better than the Pro Line. Gotcha. Did I say the Pro Line has a nickname Pain Line? Yes, yes, you did. Atari 7800. I've heard you Pain say line. that many times. The light gun. Yeah. It's a light gun. It's fine. Yeah, it's a uh, light the gun. The Lynx D-pad I find very comfortable. It's got two rounded um yes. things for your hands yeah um d-pad's fine i've replaced the d-pad i'm not a fan of d-pads with a thumbstick yeah um it's fine um and the atari lynx d-pad it's a d-pad it's yeah. it's fine so my vote 100 percent all the way in line with a lot of other people is the pain line you can put that in Which for me eight it? eight a cramp troller yeah <laughs> Danny, let me see so over oh it doesn't even fit all on the screen yeah i uh, think eight was winning though half of the people voted yeah. for eight so not, it is winning 54 percent yeah yeah, yeah 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 i just have to remember i can't really make that many options they won't fit on the screen at all gamma dev says are weirdly my original 5200 controllers from where i live uh, when i was a kid worked forever mm. i didn't understand all the hate until as an adult i bought another and the controllers had their flex circuits non-functional mm. I think 5200 is one of the best, except for the reliability factor. self center would have made it even better. Yeah. Yeah, as long as there's a large enough dead zone in the center. I've never used a working one, <laughs> so I don't know how big the dead zone is, because non-self-centering joysticks, if they're just a bit off to the left, your character starts going to the left. Yeah, yeah, Bit yeah, off yeah. to the right, up, down, they start doing those Going directions all over the place yeah. and then you have to be like oh i have to find the center to stand I still like i can't like stand that. no no i don't no. like that either <laughs> but i can't comment on that because i've never used a functional one well there you go maybe maybe at a convention maybe i picked one up but it's, it was not very memorable like at no. the like an atari age booth or something yeah, i've used one barely any analog uh necessary games they yeah. should have made a digital variant too they should have that would have been a lot better mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the news and mail and all that. Um, so the first uh, piece of news. Oh yes, yeah. Is a new T-shirt finally after probably years. <laughs> I made a new T-shirt. Uh, it's called 128 Bites of Zero Page Homebrew. I don't know. I just picked a name. Um, so there you go. Is there enough RAM in one of the most enduring console 
consoles, I've got to correct that, ever made? Of course there is. This shirt will tell the world that more memory doesn't mean games will be more fun. Uh, <laughs> this shirt is unbelievably, incredibly geeky with multiple layers of hidden messages. Nice. So let's just zoom in on that a bit. Um, as You could probably see the ZPH right there. Enough RAM for half a tweet. That's right. <laughs> You can probably see the ZPH in there, yeah. but there are other layers of of things Thanks. within this. There you go. I don't know if people can recognize what this is, what those numbers are right away. I'm sure there's quite a few I'm people. Sure there's in the a few people. Yeah. I people. certainly cannot, but no. Um, so you have to decode the numbers, and then it'll give you a message, nice. and then there's something cool in that message as well. Mm -hmm. And it's got some nice. Uh, it's nice and colorful, mm -hmm. like the 2600 is. Um, so there you go. And there is, as every time you add a shirt, oh yeah, um, it is for sale. That's Canadian, so it's going to be even cheaper in the U.S. That's pretty good, I don't know, actually. 18, 17 yeah. in the U.S. Uh, for the next one day and 54 minutes, you've you got go. a whole day to think about it. Um, it comes on, you know, <laughs> mugs as well. There you go. Um, Hope that doesn't cut off. No, no, it's got all eight. Oh, I don't. Ooh, it might ooh, cut off I a don't bit. Know. But it might. Uh, that's probably a bad representation. Yeah, it's kind of just faking it. But uh, hopefully, the whole thing shows up. Hopefully, uh, I can get stickers and yeah. wall art. They always and, make all kinds of stuff. But. I don't know hoodies and magnets. It's the next key for Ready Player Two. Yes, yeah. it is. You need it to watch the next movie. Um, so I thought that was a kind of a cool thing to make. I've got ideas for three more. Yep. One of them will take a little bit of work, but I have yeah. one that might be ready for next week. Nice. Or the week after. Nice. Yeah. Hi, uh, croakers. Where is my treats? Croak. Um, the next piece of news is the trophies are oh, finally yeah, almost yay. ready well i'm working on them so tanya's They're been working number. on them there yeah. you can hold that Ooh. up and i'll take it to the webcam in a second yeah I'm um covered so in cat right now this so. year we thought we would make our own trophies yeah. because we had to do a redesign so it has an h for homebrew yes um and we also include are able to include the person's name and also the game that they won it for. Yes. I know it's taken a while to get these done. Yes. It was in February that the show was, but we had to perfect. Yes. I was working like. on the molds and I was having some issues with them, but now I think it's all it's all sorted. Yeah. And there's a little bit of finishing left to do on them, but there you can see what they look like. So there you go. Tilt it, tilt it, tilt it some more. There you go. And I, I, I tried to go as low-key as I could. I only put a little bit of star glitter in it. <laughs> only a little bit. <laughs> only a little bit. <laughs> so you can do this one's for Susanna. Hey, Rendered Ghost. I can get this better. Gold. Star sparkles. There you go. You can kind of read the name there. Yeah. There you go. So this one's Susanna's. Um, you can see it has a very nice black, uh, shiny back. Yes. Uh, See-through sides. Yeah. See-through front. Lots of stars and a gold lettering. Yep. So it looks really, really yep. nice. A little different from the, from the previous years, which were all clear. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it, I think the lettering stands out really well, and they're all customized. Customized, which so is a big bonus. So unlike the last ones, yeah. 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 Which so. is really, really great. So yeah, it did take a little while. So those uh, people who won. Uh, you will get it uh, next month. We'll be mailing them out, I think, <laughs> with your certificates and the red envelope that yes. we used to announce, mm -hmm. and maybe uh, not something else as yeah, well. We'll see. Yeah. Or trinket, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, mm. Yeah, so I'm really happy with how those turned out. Yeah. Gamma Def says, don't apologize for Star Sparkles. Oh, Star Sparkles are Why important. have hamburger when you can have steak? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's right. Um, <laughs> On an upcoming show, we're going to be doing, uh, and I have been talking about it, a uh, world premiere, exclusive world premiere of a secret new game by Old Style, mm. who made the Mario Brothers and uh, Lunar Patrol, which is the port of Moon Patrol. Um, so I dropped the first uh, hint to what it could be Ooh. right there. 
So, exclusive world premiere of a secret new game for your 7800 Zero Page Homebrew has the exclusive world premiere on Tuesday, June 6th, so just a week and a half away, of this secret new game and interview with Old Style. So, he will be live on the show. Uh, developer of Mario Brothers and Lunar Patrol Ports will be talking about his new game and also updates on his other two masterpieces. Can you guess what the new game is? So these are things in the game. Um, and I post this on Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, for and, and uh, the Atari H forums to kind of give uh, drop hints. I'm not going to be saying yes or no to what these are. They're fairly yeah. generic things um, in the game. Yeah. So uh, that's why I chose them to make it a little more challenging to what it is. Uh, and people have been guessing... A whole bunch of games I forgot there were bells in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, that yeah, does have bells in it. A lot of games like, with bells. Uh, people have been um, guessing uh, Kangaroo, Twin Bee, Bubble Bobble, mm -hmm. uh, a bunch, a bunch of games have bells in them. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, well that's good. I put the bell in this because nice. it's a very, very general. Yeah. Those icons really ring a ring bell. Ring a bell, they do. <laughs> I'd say Pac-Man Plus. Oh yeah, that does have a lot of. I mean, Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man yes. in general. All the Pac-Mans have wonderful little lots icons of and stuff. Rewards and rewards. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a slots type game. Yes, slots, bells, yes, and slots. slots. Yeah, bells show yeah. up a lot, don't they? Yeah. 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 Um, so there you go. You can uh, put your guesses in on any of the social media stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, really looking forward to this. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we also have the world premiere of Space Taxi this Friday for the Atari 8-bit mm -hmm. with a written interview as well with the developer. Um, and also Karamujo on June 2nd, because after Friday we have one show off, um, but then we return with Karamujo on June 2nd. A world premiere of that game as well. Wow. It's the snail game for the 2600. It is so cute mm -hmm. and challenging as well. How many ice cream sundaes in a slot machine? Uh, could be. You never know. Oh, might, might be a special slot machine. My dad used to make video slots for a oh, living. Oh, very nice. Um, and just posted a few hours ago was this by Atari. Uh, said, and they said just two, uh, not just, two 2600 games from Dianoid Studios is coming to the VCS. Uh, Amoeba Jump and Tower Rubble uh, are available for yeah. download soon. So this is uh, what they originally called the Atari Box, and I will continue to call it the Atari Box because that right there in front of us is the Atari VCS. You should not name a product the exact same name as a product you put out 45 years ago. Mm. Um, yeah, mm. it's it's bad naming. Anyway, they originally called the Atari Box. So okay, um, so that's incredible. Wait, Atari Box. That's what they originally called it before they settled and on. Then that just confuses it with Atari Vox. Well, no, not many people know about the Atari well, Vox. Well, but we do. So now we I'm do. getting even more confused. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Atari VCS is the new game, right? Like the new system. It's it's a uh, like a retro system kind of. I don't know what you would new. call it. It's a new system. It's new, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. they have retro-ish games okay. on it because okay. it appeals to this demographic <laughs> somewhat. Um, Atari VCS 800. Yeah. And I think they have 400 as well, which also Why? messes people up because there was an 800. That's very confusing. Why? Because they released an Atari 800. And they released a VCS. <gasps> yeah. It's crazy. I'm more, I'm more crazy, confused crazy. than I was when we started I know. this conversation. Um, so. But anyway, congratulations <laughs> to Dion. Um, I think yeah, these that's are awesome. the first homebrew Homebrews. games to be on there. Nice. Um, besides the other game that was never on the 2600, that may be on the 2600, yeah. his name escapes me, that was just put on it a week or so ago. Okay. By the uh, developer of Hero. Oh, okay. Something Adventure. I can't remember. Um, because I haven't played it yet because it's not on the 2600. Uh, and I don't I have see. one of these boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's really exciting, and it may be the first homebrew ever put on um, uh, the, 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 this the Atari box. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I, I'm assuming they may have included some older mm. homebrews, but none excellent. that they've announced that I saw in, okay. their, in their feed. So 
this was this was posted a couple hours ago um time to get to the mail hey hey <sighs> bold cat with the fluffy tail <laughs> Esmer says, I have one. It's okay. I have Stella running on mine. <laughs> there you go. So you're using it as an emulation yeah. machine. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Um, so I have some mail here. Yeah, mail. That I've been very looking forward to for a long time. So let's open this up on the stream. So got some bubble wrap. Same fell. Fate will fell the Ouya. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> bubble wrap. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was loud. Here it is. Actually, I should take it out on the cat cam. Yes. Yeah. All right, Atari, are you excited? No, he's running away. Oh, what is this? <gasps> what? What is that? What is that? <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's so special. It is very special. What is going on? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look, Look at, at that. that. ZPH on it. Two button controller <gasps> with a mysterious knob on the top. What is that knob for? What could this be? And a button on the side as well. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at this. Um, also, let's get a look at the rest of the stuff in here. Oh, it smells said, like new. It smells like new. It smells like uh, poison plastic. Off gassing. Off gassing. Yeah, lovely. That is the smell of electronics. Yeah. <laughs> How nice is that? So oh, he said, don't wow. throw the box. Look at the bottom. Look at that. ZPH edition. Personalized <laughs> instruction manual. Wow. And an alternate overlay for the joystick as well. Nice. With nice. Beautiful with the colors. rainbows. With the rainbow <gasps> colors of ZPH. Oh my goodness. So let's. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this. How nice is this? I will tell you what this is. Did you sh show the amazing retro oh, font on the I back too? You got to show that. That is I amazing. Did not. I forgot about that. <laughs> so after you pizza grease the first one, you got to back up. Exactly. That's right. So exactly. Viking Video Games, uh, model number <laughs> VVG VMC ZP01, serial number 001. There we go. Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so this is from Double Down, who is mm, in the chat yay, right thank now. Thank you, Double Down. Uh, let's open the manual up okay. and uh, see what it says. So Double Down and I have been working to, well, he's mostly been working <laughs> <laughs> on this for a while, but yeah. I've been testing and giving feedback gotcha. on making this work. So it has uh, the controller on the front and that um, uh, stinky. Yeah. Um, mm. Please read the owner's manual carefully. Uh, treat it with care. Uh, these are all um, generic. Uh, okay, function details. Uh, 2600, one button, two button mode, push button switch. Uh, the push button switch located on the right side of the controller is a latching, unlatching type of switch. State of this switch and additionally the color of its indicating cap will alternate back and forth between its two positions with each subsequent press of the switch. Mm -hmm. For one button mode, so 2600, uh, pin 7 and 330 ohm resistor disconnected. Nice. Um, oh, this doesn't, yeah, okay. I will talk more about this. Okay. This is, this is like more technical stuff. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah, boilerplate, exactly. So it works as a normal 2600 joystick because 2600 games have just one button. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it has an assignable second button. Nice. With this switch. And and that's how you choose what these what assignment it gets, right? Yes. Um, so you can assign it to off, mm. up, down, left, or right. Because a lot of 2600 games say you need to fire in the game yes, and jump in the and game. and jump. Oh. And jump or fire is up. And, you know, the developers had to make a choice. And they're like, yeah. what's up? Jump or fire? Well, we got to pick one. And usually the one that's used the least is assigned to up. Mm. And I did buy a monster joystick before. Yeah. I didn't like it. it. Had sharp edges. It was creaky. It worked. The, the it end was... fell off. Yeah, the end was. There was an a issue. lot of issues. Um, it cut my hands. It was very uncomfortable. Um, so oh this gosh. will replace that. This is yeah, much um, better. Also, it has another position of the switch. <laughs> it's called B two. Okay. And that assigns it to button two. Now people familiar with the Atari 2600, they, the Genesis controller works in the Atari 2600 and some people, some developers have oh, developed for a second figured button. out how to use the, a second button, button oh. on the Genesis controller. Okay. So B2 setting on this is Genesis controller. Is Genesis and Joy oh. B2 plus, I think, compatible. Um, and that's another extension that Atari 8-bit systems use nice. in some 2600. Um, so this also replaces Genesis con the Genesis controller, okay. of which I had no other way to play two-button games, except for plugging in a D-pad. <laughs> now I have an arcade joystick. Yay. And not only that, Joy 2B+. Plus. Thank you. Minus the third button. Yeah, there is no third button on this. Um, not only that, the biggest reason but wait there's more wait there's more <laughs> now this is a very very specific to me okay um this plugs into the joystick port on the links <laughs> on my consoleized links which nice. we're playing today nice. coincidence <gasps> i think not <laughs> um so this replaces so many joysticks all at once um so I'm really, really excited nice. and happy about this. And I want to thank Double Down so much for gifting this joystick to us because he sent it to us for our fifth anniversary Yay. of the show, which was a couple months ago. Oh, so and we nice. had to work out, you know, make this work properly. Yeah. Um, nice and clicky. So nice. It feels really, really good. Yeah. Um, is that the same as the booster grip controller? No, I, be, I believe the booster grip controller plugged into the second port of the 2600. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you're doing an infomercial for this joystick, you should, yeah. <laughs> that's Maybe. right. Put the phone number on the bottom yeah, of the screen yeah, yeah. scrolling by. Yes, yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> yes, yes. And he was so nice to make this branded with ZPH. Nice. It looks absolutely amazing. So I want to do a big thanks. Um, to double down this whole episode will be dedicated to him um, because we'll be using his joystick on this uh, episode and many oh it just jumped on my toe oh no many episodes to come um, for the special abilities that this joystick has because I can use this in the Atari 8 bit system as well for really? games that use two, two buttons. Oh, wow. We can use this on the Commodore 64 really? for games that have up and fire, jump nice. and fire. Nice. Um, do you need to use the side switch for the links or no? No, it works. Everything just works without touching the side switch. And you tested that out? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tested it out before doing the show. Okay, fair enough. may have almost been canceled if it didn't work. No, no. <laughs> playing the Lynx games today. Yeah. Um, so it works on Sega Master System nice. as well. It is a ultimate joystick for me. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted a joystick that has replaceable up or down. Um, so let's give it a <laughs> test right now on the Atari 2600. 2600 first, okay. And um, just Look to at show that long off, cord, look! Nice long the cord. Hook. Which is what we want. Couch compliant cord. <laughs> yes, it is. And he suggested that we play uh, Keystone Capers. Because Ooh. that has a I, down I do like that game too. <laughs> direction. And he said assign the second button to down so you can duck. So let's give that a go. 
Oh, I make my own cables. <laughs> oh, really? Ten feet. Yeah, they're nice and soft. Oh, oh they're a soft cable. They're also, yeah, cats. Okay, so if you can go down to uh, 1977 to 1992. Hmm. Uh, K, H to R. Like, where's K? And to the right, to the right, uh, to the right. Papers and then set that to down. I did. Okay, good. And I don't know if this is compliant. I think it is. No, no. Ah! Loud here. What? Oh, I have to jump over it. <laughs> I'm like, that's very different than uh, the other versions. You duck under it. Or maybe, maybe I can. No. Nope. Have you tried ducking? That's the whole point of the joystick. Yay! So yeah. she can. Press the button for ducking. Level one, there's no, there's no ducking. Oh, oh, oh you can press down, no. press button, press button. There you go, you're off the elevator. I go didn't want to get off the elevator. What's wrong with you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did James. you ride it all the way to the top then? Well, he he turned around very very quickly. Oh. And okay. I was gonna, and I'm like, why are you saying go go down? It's better timing. Anyway. Oh goodness. Ugh. I have to get to the airplane so you can duck. There we go. Needs a remote reset button. <laughs> oh, that's a bit pain, a bit of a pain. So you have to do a, wi a wire and then wire it into your joystick. And I have seen joysticks with remote uh, reset buttons, though. It's going down or up? Going up. Going up. Going up. Harmony Cart menu was nice and solid. Yeah, I. I did a readjustment um, on the frame rate um, on the retro tank that I think has made it a slight bit better. It is not perfect yet. It's not what we see on the screen is translated, mm -hmm. but I think that might have to do with my computer, maybe, because I noticed Stella does that as well, even displaying on my computer. Still no, uh, still no planes. <laughs> to use the down. No. Double down says I've been thinking about a couch compliant control with all the console controls on it, but we have to match to the to a console. And you, yeah, you'd have to. Um, Is it going down? It's going down, isn't it? Hard to know. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You'll be able to get him by the time he gets up. I think up. it'll actually work out well. Because yes, he he'll turn around as oh, soon as that goes. You gotta run, run quick as you can. Oh, I think you'll make it just barely. Nope. Okay, let's switch game. <laughs> and if you could go to Atari 2600 Hacks 2 button and this go to one? Moon Patrol. Uh, Moon Patrol Arcade. Ooh, it's a nice, got a nice click. And then switch it to 2 button. How? Here? No, don't press that no. two button right there, right there. B2. Okay. Now first button's fire, second button is jump. Now use the button. Fire. Ah. How are you going too slow? Oh, what was going on there? Something funny happened there. Yeah, you have to speed up. Speed no, no, up. it was jumping continuously. It's jumping continuously. Oh, uh, I think because you pressed the button. Okay, now try. Okay. Like, don't, don't touch that button I'm ever. I'm not trying to touch that button. Good for asteroids when you pull down to go to hyperspace. You could assign it to that button. Yes. Oh, you just missed that. How is it? Good. Two buttons. Excellent. No more Genesis controllers. No more creaky monster joysticks. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> hey, I want to play Moon Patrol now. <laughs> Until you die. First time you die, we're switching. Um, so thank you so much. Ooh, a button you're not supposed to push. Doesn't that pique your curiosity? Only if it's shiny and red. Oh, you die. Okay.
There we go. So, I th think, let me just check and make sure we've done all the, um, oh yeah, all the and uh, one more thing, we're just going to show off uh, Double Down's website here. Oh, there we go. Of all the crazy controllers he's made. Viking um, video games, very nice. Viking video games, so... Look at those Spy cords. Hunter, two button, two port, uh, oh. D pad version, plugs into both controllers. Oh, wow. So you can have access um, to a second button. Um, that is the model uh, modified. With the, with the adjustment, yeah. With, the, with a little rotary. Nice. Hot dog. And another one. Nice. Different. Uh, I like all the overlays. That's really nice. Uh, VCS Mini, nice. um, and these oh, are uh, seventy eight hundred uh, compatible. Seventy eight. That's what the 26. button is for, I believe. Uh, okay. Um, to switch to a two button seven eight hundred. That's okay. Um, Ooh. One button bat Ooh. version. I'm not sure what that button That's is. That's nice. There. Yes. Nice large size. Very beautiful wood grain. Yeah. Oh, stealth or quiet controls. Okay. Uh. Um. Oh, look at that. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix, 2600 Phoenix. This looks like a two-way joystick because there's a number of two-way shooter games. Oh, yeah. Um, and I bet he has assigned one of these buttons to like up and down. Uh, oh, control down, control up. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, barrier, fire, fire, barrier, nice. fire, barrier. Very nice. Original oh, arcade Oh, matching controls. original arcade controls. Yeah. Ah, uh, the Switchomatic. Ooh. Look at the buttons. Look so at I'm all those buttons. Guessing there's assignability of four buttons to that mm. one. So you can assign up, down, left, right, or nice. whatever you want to, whatever buttons. Nice. Really nice. Ooh, look at that. What is this? There's Eight a paddle bu built Euro in. joystick with a paddle. Oh. Really nice. Oh, that's really nice. Hi. And another Hi. one. Hi. Uh, Atari 5200 uh, digital joystick with uh, all the controller buttons, assignable buttons. Wow. Kiosk controller. Wow. Uh, another 5200, the ball version. Ooh, look at that. Atari Space Dungeon. Oh my goodness. One player, two player. Wow. Yeah. Hola, Vitoko. Commando. Uh, hola, Vitoko. Uh, commando. Themed. Very nice. For yeah. 7800 exclusively. Look at uh, all these themes. Look Robotron, at that. Robotron Twin Ooh, Stick. Twin Stick. Themed with lit buttons. We're just going to hang out on your website all it's night, gorgeous. okay, VVG? <laughs> yep. Scramble. Nice. Uh, Wicko Leaf, a Jaguar. Themed, yes. That's the next one. Nice. That's the one. I, only one I need the left. The ultimate. The ultimate. It's a Jaguar. Yeah. Um, Jaguar no, joystick style. Just... So there you go. Um, Someone asked about how much this is. Um, is this selling for? You have to contact Viking Games. Yeah, you have to talk Depending to Double on, Down. Depending on what uh, what specifications options you want. I don't you know. want. Yeah. I think Machine has the Jaguar one. Oh, oh wow! I have to talk to Machine and uh, see how he likes it. Nice. My son would love the Robotron. TBD. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now on to games. Uh, first game is on duty, and we're going to be using this joystick mm -hmm. for the first time. Coupon code Sprite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, he's so t tired. He he cried and cried and no one fed him, so he fell asleep. I love the space engine model. I'm quite partial to the Robotron one, too. Ooh, Looks that one really is nice. colorful and nice. But we already have a twin joystick yeah. from Ed Ladin, so we don't need another oh, twin Which is joystick. the poll question. I only see the answers. Vitoko wants oh. to know what the original question is. Uh, what is the second worst controller for the Atari, <laughs> uh, for an Atari system? Um, it does cut off at 10. Number 11 and 12. 11 was Atari Lynx D-pad. Number 12 was the Jaguar Pro Controller. So you can go for that. Okay. There we are. Now we're going to be playing my VGA out consoleized Lynx, Lynx with a gorgeous with controller. An arcade controller. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at that. 
Amazing. Up, down, up, down. So B is the normal button to select on the links. Okay, do Not you want to do it? Because I'm okay. cat catified right now. So the first game we're going to be playing is On Duty. Nice. Um, actually, there was something I needed to read out before Okay, this. do you want to read it then? I'll toss um, the cat. Actually, show before this, but okay. we'll let the intro run. Okay. First. I can toss the cat. OCO. Oh, very nice. Somebody parachuting in. Oh my goodness. Look at that title screen. Nice. It's lit by his uh, flame gun. <laughs> uh, handheld uh, flamethrower. Flame yeah. On duty. Oh, I think there is music, but it's a little bit quieter on the Thanks. I just adjust the volume. Okay, as the music's playing, we're gonna actually um, switch back, and I did have something to show you guys beforehand. So, um, when I s said that on we were gonna play On Duty, the dev, um, one of the devs of On Duty, Carrie, um, left a message afterwards. He said, how nice. On Duty was my attempt to make a real game for the Lynx. All missions were designed by me, and there was a hidden objective in the game. Ooh, hidden objectives. Unfortunately, it did not get enough votes to be in the top three games, so I lost interest to code in everything I had planned. Oh. Uh, but I hope people will still enjoy playing it. This is why it was released in binary Gosh. format. There's a long story about the background tune, which which you guys can hear in the background. We can't hear it right now. Yeah. Um, I spent ages, let me just turn it down just a little bit, uh, to try and create something unique. Can you find the hidden message in the soundtrack? Oh, I bet it's um, Morse code. Usually when it's hidden messages in music, it's Morse <laughs> yeah. code. Uh, the first one who gets it right during the Twitch stream will receive a boxed version of <gasps> On Duty. What? Oh, everyone get wow. ready. Wow. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't notice that line before. Didn't know, really? Yeah. Oh. So there you go. The music is playing. Yeah. If you can figure it out. Do, do, we'll have to listen to it again after we switch back. The weird thing is I lost my luggage with all the boxed On Duty games I planned to sell at PRGE, which was 2019. Uh, PRGE. Uh, thanks to Kevin Moss 3, I got my stuff back on the last day and was able to sell a bunch of these games. Without Kevin, the stuff would have been lost forever. Oh. It was not the airline who put the pieces together. Mm. Oh. So I'm still sitting here with bo lots of boxes and manuals. Perhaps I finish the st second storyline if I really get bored someday, mm -hmm. but not today. Today I'm heading for my dance rehearsals for His Name is Lancelot, He Likes to Dance a Lot, and wear tight pants a lot. It's true. <laughs> and to prove that, he is in the trailer. Oh, for Monty Python's Spamalot in Finland. Oh, really? That's him. Obviously, an homage to the movie. Did we ever see Spamalot? Yes, we did. <laughs> Bunch of finish. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case it uh, matches something. It's got subtitles for those of you uh, who read. Very nice. Yes, Summer Theater. I'm guessing that what's Raysburg Summer Theater. Very nice. There you go. Uh, if you're in Finland <laughs> you can, <laughs> and you want to see, you Spam can go see Carrie yeah. perform in Spamalot. Oh, nice. The developer of this game. So uh, that is uh, super super cool. And I thought I'd include that because that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, so let's get back to the game. And you've got no cat now. No cat. Oh, oh, let's listen to the music first.
that. <laughs> That's the one. Everyone's recording it. So. <laughs> That's what you're going to have to figure out. Oh, can't hear it? Oh, it's muted. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. Not that part. I haven't memorized Morse code, so... So the music is that scene from Holy Grail where Lancelot is charging at the gate. Yes. Um, but this is the music that you need to decode. It's the music, uh, I believe, on the title screen. Um, so, let's get into the game. If you want to press uh, button two. Your mission. A freshman straight from academy. How cute. Get us some coffee with donuts on your way back from the shooting range. Use the joypad joy for selecting the mission. Top secret. Okay, press the button. Freshman, oh, is that something different? No, it was the nope. same thing. And no selection. Okay, so the first button is selecting your weapon of which you only have bullets and you have zero bullets. So okay. you can't select anything. And the second button? Is to shoot. Of which you have no bullets. Okay, so. that's a fair... Um, so, this game was first posted on August 8th, 2019. Oh. This build is from September 1st, 2019. 251k game uh, from OCO. OCO team came in fourth in the Atari Lynx 30th birthday programming competition. Um... So uh, he wrote in the forums when he posted it, this game is participating in the Atari Lynx 30 year anniversary competition. So you can load and play it for free after the 1st of September. For people who want real carts uh, for the Lynx, there will be a boxed uh, oh, release gotcha. at PRGE. And it was for sale for $30 for the 30th anniversary uh, uh, PRGE. Um, so it is like a little mission that you have to do. You have to pick up weapons, uh, shoot guys. Is there bullets? Uh, gotcha. Yep, now you have oh, three okay. bullets. It's like, what is going on here? Anybody decoded that uh, Morse code? If, if indeed that is what you It's still playing. Decode. It's still playing. Oh, it is still playing. I don't know if these are... Those are bombs. Pick up some bombs. So it's got some nice on-screen instructions. Your movement is surprisingly zippy. It's very zippy. Almost too fast. But it might come in handy later. What are those flashing? Oh. Oh, you selected the bomb. Switch back. There, now you're on the bullets. And you have to get a little bit closer. There you go. Oh, I see. I got hit. Yeah, a little bit hit. Your heart is down a little gotcha. bit. Gotcha. That's okay. Your heart is sad now. You have to kind of figure it out. Yeah, you can't... Sh you have to be close yeah. to shoot. The music is actually a highly compressed message from vg -er to the creator. Uh, the OCO team also released a Lynx port of Chase, which we have played on the show. Uh, which I'm looking forward to playing again at some point with this joystick rather than the gamepad, which kind of messed us up a bit. Press up. Oh, oh up. Or face it, I think. There oh, go. gosh, okay. We are under attack. Evacuate range. So you've got your full health again. Switching back to bullets. Find a device in the building, it says. Want to play with the box? Go in the cat trap. <gasps> he went in the cat trap. He's in the cat trap. Oh my goodness, that was didn't take much work. Did Is you go it... in the building? I don't know. In Did the I? Stairs. Find a device in the building. No, oh, you do I have right... to, oh, I, have to, I do have to go in the building. Do I have yeah. to kill the other guys that are there? There you go. Now you're in the building. Okay. 
There's a device. Yay! Ooh, it's an old school cell phone. So you have a key, but I don't know if I would use it there. Really? Because I think you don't need to waste your key on that lock because you can just go around. Oh, okay. Single use keys there. Yes. Yeah. One key per door. They break off, I guess. <laughs> Wait till he comes back. How close do you have to be? I think within three. There you go. Shot him in the back. Cowardly. How do I... <laughs> Health. You I... are full health. Am I? I thought yeah, I was like the heart. 21. Oh, I see. Okay. No, oh, the heart that's is the, the indicator. Bullets. Yeah. Never mind. So 18 bullets, 8 bombs, 1 key. You keep no! pressing, pressing the wrong button oh, there. No! Think you're on bullets now? Oh, you're slow. You need health. You're on a cell phone. Oh, God. You should maybe keep on the bullets. Oh, good night, Daryl. Thanks for dropping by. I also have to be careful. Is this supposed to be pushed in? I don't know. Just leave it as it is, because it's working. I think I hit it, because my hand touches here. So, uh, it's probably not helping things. Just leave Should it. it be pushed in or not? One or two button. Uh, leave it as it is, okay. and make sure it's working. I believe it works on both ways. Okay. Start sure. again. It's okay. I got a better feel for how this works. Now. So, uh, <laughs> option two can turn on and off the music. Pause, pause the game. Option one, credits on intro screen or mission screen. Option one and option two, erase EEPROM or SD card saves. Uh, a, to shoot, operate device. B, change weapons. Goal of the game. Mission objectives are said on the mission screen. <laughs> so there you go. Shoot two targets. It tells you what to do as you go. Who is the creator? What is the creator? The creator is that which program VGR. Hmm. Nice. Nice. So how's the joystick? click to it so you know you've pressed it. Yeah. It's which very I do nice. like. So that could be a cell phone to phone back or it could be a cell phone to detonate something mm -hmm. as well. Heal yourself with the health kits. You are down a bit, but not too bad. Oh. Anybody decoded it yet? Am I going to have to do it? <laughs> it may take more than one hit. Sometimes it's a, it's sometimes they take one hit, it seems, but... So this looks like... Is that a door? Is that something I need to explode? Maybe. Press B to operate device. That device? Yep. Ah! So it opened the door. Oh, gone. <laughs> That's what it said to do. Gone. Detonate. This is a solid tutorial section. Yeah, it, yeah. it's really good, and it uh, puts things up on the screen as you need them. What are you doing, you silly thing? He loves to do this to cardboard boxes. He's so silly. He is pretty silly. Loves to so now what? scratch them. Oh, you stop as soon as I switch over to you? Okay. Um, I think you need to explode the next wall to get through it. There isn't a wall. Up here? At the top. Nope. Pretty. Or you think this is a wall? I think so. All right. Yeah, there's some grass on the other side. Oh, okay. I thought it was uh, something else. I don't else. know what that is, but it might be bad. That you're walking. No, it's fine. Make sure, yeah, always switch back to bullets. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's a path. Okay. That guy looks like he needs help. Do not shoot. Donuts and coffee! Woo! Is his demands. Is he going to follow you? Oh, oh, two guys now. Nope. Oh, your mission. Oh, you did it. We have to move troops out of the area oh, fast. Okay. 
go check that nobody was left behind. Take people left behind to H-pad helicopter. Oh, where did that guy go? Did he just take off? Was that your friend? Or no, was that I do not think so. He one looked like a bad a guy. Building. Yep, he's got a gun. Got him. Oh, all your weapons are gone. I only had one bullet. Oh my god. Run, do not do not engage. Don't alert him. Oh my god. That was quick moving. Up the stairs. Oh, this is the H pad. I'm okay. Guessing the other guy's gone already? That you did rescue? Like, that was a mission's over? No, no, that was the end of the last okay. mission. No, so find new people to take to helicopter. No bullets! Ugh. Oh boy, this is a stealth mission, this one. Oh. So I wouldn't move too quickly around unless you alert. Somebody to your... Alert, alert! One bullet, it's a suicide mission. Double Down says, Oh, good night, S. Ramirez! Good night! Thanks for hanging out with us. at oh building another bullet just in, case, in case things go bad single bullets oh get away don't alert him best not to use it unless you have to oh random bullet lying on the ground in the forest oh it's an easter egg hunt oh a key i think you need that even keys lying it's around. It's a pretty big map. It is. Oh. Oh, no. That's the edge. Oh, he's kind of patrolling it. Oh, run. Oh. He's trying to get in, but he can't. There you go. Do you have a key? Oh, there. It's a building inside a building. Building inside a gate. We go in. What you doing? What's that noise? It's a cat. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? It's a cat playing in the. Uh, oh, that's all I have. Bubble wrap. Yep, mm. just bullets. Oh, he's got a bullet. Take people left behind to the H pad. Oh, you move slow. But you do have four bullets, so you could um, shoot that guy if you encounter him. That's near the entrance. POW camp. Yes. It's ah. Too far away. Is that a building you've been in before? Nope. Oh, okay. You're a video game action hero. You can defeat an army with a broken knife and a jammed gun. <laughs> exactly. Oh, ah. my God. So, um... I looked up info about uh, how sprites work on the Lynx. Okay. Um, nice. In addition, oh, it's just only one, one guy. guy. Oh, okay. okay. Mission complete. Did I have to get nice all of them scrolling. then, or was I it just one? Don't know if it was just one, Very nice. but it didn't ask for two. Okay. Hmm. Covert operation: blow up three ammo depots at the junction east of the city. This is a lone, lone wolf, wolf mission without support. Uh -oh. Did you have support before? <laughs> I don't remember any support. Mostly it was you helping people. That's right. Okay. Uh... Destroy three ammo depots. Oh, did get a bullet. I was surprised. I thought it was just going to be bombs. Um, so, general sprite features, oh, lots of stuff lying around, on the links. In addition to the normal features that accompany sprites, two major features are present in the system. One is that all sprites are sized in real time by the hardware prior to being painted on the screen. Uh, the other is that data used to represent a sprite image is stored in RAM in a compacted format. So, feature list of sprites. Uh, oh, it's a truck. It's a very cool game. Yeah. Um... Sprites have an unlimited vertical size. Um, kind of like the 2600. Um, sprites on the 2600 have an unlimited vertical size as well. 
you have to shoot that. Or, ah. Ooh, that was, no, you didn't get hurt. You were right no. beside it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, Sprite's horizontal side is li size is limited by a maximum of 254 bytes of source data. This is approximately of 508 pixels unscaled. So huge, huge sprites, horizontally and vertically. Like one sprite can cover the whole screen, screen pretty much. That's two. Uh, sprites have one, two, three, or four bits per pixel. A pen index number. Pen index is converted to pen number by the contents of a 16 nibble pen index palette specific to each sprite. Good. Oh, yay! yay! The horizontal and vertical reference point of a sprite could be defined to be any pixel within that sprite, which is very cool so that you can define the middle of the sprite to be the, the um, reference point mm. so that sprites can kind of go out, out of bounds so that if you're um, checking for hit uh, collision detection, it, it's... it'll it'll detect the middle of the sprite gotcha. rather than the outsides. Neat. In a recent evacuation, an encryption device was lost. Try Ooh. to find it. Um, the processing of an actual sprite can be skipped on a sprite by sprite basis. So I'm guessing you can just define a sprite and leave it. You don't have to do anything with it if you don't want to. Um, sprites or portions of sprites that are positioned off screen will be clipped by the hardware during the painting process. Um, so if it's off screen, it just doesn't bother dealing with the sprite. So it knows not to waste processor power, I'm guessing, um, by uh, dealing with useless sprites. Sprites can be, uh, oh. It's treat oh, it's time. The voice. Yum. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. yum, yum, yum. It's treat time, kittens. It's time. For the fight, for the showdown. Oh, oh, there, there, we do have some. Are you ready, kittens? Who triggered that? Old style triggered it. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, let's go to the cat cam. And you'll be playing in the tiny window. Okay, you ready, guys? You ready? Oh, I've shut the door. I cannot see anything. It's all right. <laughs> okay, cats, are you ready? It's zero all. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and go. Oh, nobody's pressed it hard enough. Come on, guys. Oh, Sprite got it. Come on, Atari. Oh, Sprite got it again. But it only counts for one. Come on, Sprite. Hit it. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Come on. There we go. One all. Tied for one. Rendered Ghost says, yay, treats, gimme. And that's two for Sprite. is firing wildly. Oh, oh, I think that was, uh... Ah! Did he smack your toe? Oh, his claw went right into my toe. Oh, no! Are you okay? Uh, two, two. Uh, it was like a needle going into my oh, toe. Oh, no. Nope. Hit it again. Hit it again. Hit it again. Come on, Atari. Your head. Oh, no! Sprite, I got another one. Come on, Atari. Hit it. There we go, three all. Hey, Carrie. Welcome. Four, three. We played your trailer <laughs> for Spamalot. Four, three. Come on, Atari. Come on, catch up. Bring it. Oh, he's going to get ahead. Oh, five, three. Come on, Atari. Bring it. Oh, you're so confused. <laughs> there, ring it. It's five, three. There we go. Five, four. Sprite is confused. He thinks I threw one for him. Oh, six, four for Sprite. Oh, yeah, we're still playing it. Come on, come on, turn. Did anyone get the music message yet? Not, they haven't. I don't think so. They haven't uh, posted it. They may still be decoding it. Six, five for Sprite. Seven five for Sprite. <laughs> I think 
we figured it out. It's um, seven six for tar for sprite. I think it's um, Morse code. When it goes, dee, 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 dee. Uh, eight, five. I've lost count because I've been talking. Nine, five. Oh no! What are you doing, Atari? Oh, he's lost it. It's game point. Game point. Yes, they are personalized. Game point, and Sprite gets it with ten, five, or ten, six. It was a trouncing. Oh. Air tart. There you go. We caught all of them. Oh, you can get one more. There you go. Take your bells away. I don't think you're still playing. Good job, Sprite. They're emerging. They're emerging from the vehicles. Stinky, stinky hands. What? Bad guys are coming out well, of the vehicles? Well, it says they're emerging from vehicles, but I oh. haven't. What the vehicles? Was it creative for me thinking? Oh, nope, I failed that. <laughs> oh, oh no, wait. I don't know what happened there. I didn't kill anything. Is it the same one? Pick up our top no, scientist. No, it's a different one. Oh. It's a different one. So I he did something. passed it? Dr. Krill, Intel believes he is locked up north from here. Use force if nice. needed. Well, yes, Fitoko, they are personalized oh, look at that. awards. Oh, oh, look at scaling that. Scaling of the helicopter. Very nice. Yes, we have personalized awards. I've been working on them. I don't have them all ready yet, but they're they're coming Some along. Some of them are ready. Some of them are ready. And I do have them sp sprinkled around here. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. Tequila. Kins. Okay. So what is Go this? Go in there. Oh. Da -da -da. Yeah. Ooh, a bunch no. of extra bullets and no. keys. Did I just waste a key? I don't know. There's and another one there. Get all the stuffs. Need stuffs. Now what is this? Can I only go through one way? No. Okay. There's a secret passage into the ground over here. Ooh, I did go around. Nice. Big map. Another keys? Key. <laughs> no. Oh. Maybe you come up out of there when Could you're be. done. Nice music. There's a guy in here somewhere. Oh, that's okay. You can avoid them pretty well if you keep your distance. It's just if you accidentally run into them. Where is Pee Wee Herman? I know. Yeah, <laughs> dancing on the biker. Oh. Down Biker below. bar. Ooh, so many bullets. That, Lots uh, of room makes doors. Makes me nervous, actually. I don't know if I should have. Oh, there's oh, more keys. There's more keys. Get all the keys. Get all the bullets. Makes me nervous when they give you tons of ammo and health. Because there's, key up there. there's lots of badness coming. Oh my god, there's so much. It's my favorite kind of game. It's lots of stuff. Lots I like of stuff getting to... stuff. I like making stuff. <laughs> I like modifying stuff. It's all about the stuff. This is definitely a maze. Definitely a maze. Oh my goodness. It's like where you Holds you're the trying to find the, the scientist. Oh, he's... so somewhere buried in here is a scientist. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Good job. Thank you. Have you gotten any bombs yet? No, eh? No. Oh, watch that. That's so you can walk, yeah, the, those pits you just walk right into, so. This is tile-based game, so I mm -hmm. press to the right, it's a tile. It's amazing! <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, oh up there? Can there? No? Not yet. I can tell by the bullets. Oh! Oh! Are you Mr. Him. Scientist? Uh, I guess bring it him is. back? Point wants to go in there, but I'll go in there. <laughs> <laughs> is there a way out there? Uh, now where roof? do I have to You're on the take roof. him? Probably back to the beginning. Oh, the helicopter. Oh, yeah, back to the long helicopter. Long way back. That's okay. Okay, let's go back. Go down to the right. Down to the right. 
No. Oh, I already saw there was up there. there. This is where I came from. Oh. So we're going back, <sighs> Mr. Scientist. Whatever that might be. Up in here? I'm sure there are a lot of places you haven't been. This is a very strange song for uh, <laughs> the game. <laughs> it's so happy. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Uh, up, up. Is that where I came from? Oh, oh. Oh, such a maze. Why am I playing the maze level? I love maze levels. Oh, yeah, it's funny. Oh, on the wrong... Well, you have to go down to the bottom, right? It I started at the bottom. Extra health. Oh. <gasps> Two hearts. Ooh, good stuff. For both well, of you? Now I'm kind of outside, so I think this is good. <laughs> oh, burning really fast. I find they walk on paths, but... That's like an exit. Yeah. Where's that helicopter? It's down at the bottom. I think you just have to find your way back down. Yeah. I think you were here already. Um, oh, no. No, you went through that door already. I think you need to go down, so maybe go up. Yeah. And see if there's a path down somewhere. Not, you just want, you've been down that way already. Maybe to the right. Oh, oh there. Stairs? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I don't remember this. Though. Nope, but just try to go down, I guess. There's down to the left. No, 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 down there, maybe. I'm making it worse. I've got six keys. I'm going here. Oh. Just open all the Hit doors. Hit of death. Oh, another key. <laughs> At least it doesn't appear to be timed. <laughs> no, that is... Ah! Shoot him. Cards are fairly dumb. Yeah, great. Because they go, oh! And they stand there for a second. Oh. Nice. I think you just want to get down. Like you want to get down levels. Yeah, this seems so, to be more... Where you were. Where I was. Yeah. That's good. Up. That's, I don't think you want to go up. No. I think you want to go back out that way. Maybe? No. <laughs> Maybe up. I think I'm making Maybe up. headway. Maybe back up. No, go back down and go up. Sorry. Go up, up go there. up there. Because you've been through this path before. Ooh, oh, this, this might is be it. looking a little better. That's one way. Mm. Maisie. Oh, yay. Oh. This is it. For sure. <gasps> ah! Watch out, shoot him. <laughs> Too oh. fast. Both my hearts went down at the same time? Oh, maybe it's... I need hearts. You and him. Um, oh, it could be me and him. That's right. I, I think you might need to... Mm. Mm. Down? No? Nope. Go to the right and down? No? Nope. Are you at the edge of the screen? Yes. Yeah. Oh, maybe go up to the left then. Maybe that is the helicopter. The is that the helicopter? You landed on top of... Yeah, I think you've been here before. This is it. I hear something. Oh, I think the helicopter's on that building. Is, is it, it on a building? Yeah. I think this is the building. Oh, I have to go the other way. Oh, the stairs. <gasps> oh, it's right there. Woo! -hoo! Get out oh, the craft paper. Goodness. Yes. You got speed. You got to speed up when the, the scientist, scientist was, was healed. healed. That makes sense. Dr. Krill mentioned that they are building some kind of doomsday machine. It's always a doomsday machine. Always. In an underground lab north from here. Take care of it. If it is true. North from, north from here. Oh, the level's just going to get massive. <laughs> More mazy every time. This looks like the same map. Yeah. This is Maybe. the same map. This isn't, you have to get north. Replenished everything though. Keys, get the keys. There's some more stuff down here. Oh no, not this time. It's not quite the same, is it? Yeah. Is it? Uh. Oh. oh I don't know. Maybe it's not. I can't get out this way. No. So it is not the same map. It's similar, similar map. Oh, you have to go down. Oh. Okay. Have to go through that. Yeah. Go through that building. Room. I'm not going to use a key on that room because there's nothing in there. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, good job. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Thought he there's a bomb there. Ooh, there's a few Yay. bombs. Hey, so I to do some bombs on things. Oh, no, oh, that went into something this time. Anything in there? Yep, okay. Some bullets, sure. Kind of just replenishes your key. You have to the, use the device. So you, uh, or the device. The, the old device. cell phone. <laughs> the old cell phone. <laughs> um, we'll call it a satellite phone. Pre-flip phone. Pre-flip phone, yep. And they There's... tried to make phones look like phones still. Oh, what? Just... You just went up. Them off a building? No, I don't think so. Oh, there you go. Well, well the music's still the same from last night. It's great. Oh. How is the joystick? Thank you for following Lil Mac 621. Glad you're enjoying our links broadcast. The joystick is absolutely amazing. It works really, really well. Thousand percent better than that. Sega Master System D-pad. <laughs> Bane of my existence. Oh, Ooh, yay! Finally. So that thing was down at the bottom. If so, you feel like going back to it. I do. Let's go back. Um, Maybe where the Doomsday Machine is. Uh, have I not been here? No, you've been there, I think. Or would I not pick up that? Oh, is, is it... Yeah, there. Yeah, and I think it was down into the left, was it? I think so. Oh, no, sorry, I can't find it. No, it, it was where oh you God, came it's from. Oh my God, it's replenishing It was where you came from. Oh, okay. It was, uh, I'm not sure exactly where, but it Here? was, no, no, it was, um, it had a door. Yeah, so go, oh, maybe you can't, oh yeah. No, we're right back at the beginning. Where was it? It was, um... Everything's replenishing itself. That's fine with me. Yeah. Um, More keys! Everything's back! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it must have been back up. To go up or no, through this? Through. And then around. Yeah. Um, what exactly was it? was it? I thought it was above ground, though. Like, in... Um, I am certain I'm this one. Key wastings. Wasting those keys. Because the doors reset too. Thankfully, the keys reset as well. There. There it is. There we go. Is that it? Yep. No. No, that's just a locked door. Oh. There was another one somewhere. Um, here? Yeah, it's terrible when you can't remember where things were. That one? No, go, no, that's a locked door. It has an X on it. It's a door with an X. That's you need a key for that one. Oh, I have Mauda keys. Yeah. Oh no. Um, I think it was somewhere around here. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where it was. It, I thought it was right at the bottom somewhere. So. Am I crazy? I was pretty sure it was as well. Yeah. Moving this fast is actually advantageous <laughs> when you need to move around. Yeah. Oh boy. Where was it? It's here. I thought it was above ground though. There! There you go. There's another one. No, I have to do yep. one at a time. You have to shoot them to explode. Shoot them. them. This is a, I'm guessing this is the Doomsday yep. device. I'm guessing. I have a faint memory that the factory's underground. Ah, did it! Yay! 
Welcome, little man. Get out as fast as you can. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, follow the arrow. Oh, good. Why am I so slow? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Get what, out. Get what out. What the hell? Get out. Ah. Get out. Where are you going? I don't know. Everything turned to spikes. There was no way I would have got out of that. You just have to run really fast. There's no way I would have got out of that. Run. Run, 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 run. But I'm all slow. Why are you slow? I don't know. Oh, look. Everything's turning to... Get the... Get the... Ah! Oh, my goodness. No, no, you're dead. There's How no do way. you do that? Exploding factory cause. Still, do I get to play over and over again, I guess? Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's a bruise. Maybe you shouldn't even go for that. Just keep running. It's possible. Maybe, maybe don't try to get the. No, I'm just not going go, to. Try, just avoid what you can. So far, so good hard not to hit any of them. It's all over the place. Oh, ah! Oh, faster. Still go to the right? How far to the right do I go? Oh, just... Ow! Oh. Oh. My god, this goes on forever. Oh, I don't know if you want to do that. I do. Oh, I guess you kind of have to. Yeah, one more hit. Watch out, dead. watch out, watch out. Trees. <gasps> Get it! It's right there! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this has got to be the last, uh, last uh, um, level. Possibly. Nope. Factory's gone. Time to enjoy your cruise in the Caribbean. Or Caribbean. While you take out the hostile warship. <laughs> How am I enjoying it? Oh my god! Take out the cannons with explo- Oh my god, what is happening? What? Can I walk on that? No. What? Take out the cannons, you have to shoot those cannons. Or do you have explosives? I don't. Oh. I don't have anything. Oh, I'm out of health. I don't see any uh, explosives. Oh, there's oh. an explosive. Oh. Oh, now there's g dudes. No, you die. Okay, let's switch to explosive. Mine too. Oh, thank God. Well, at least I know where the explosive is now. Right there. Is there just oh, one? Did it? Oh, there you have one. Oh. Did it work? Yep. Okay. There's oh. another one. Oh my god! Yeah, so you take them out, I guess. Oh, I can't. You have to shoot the. Oh, you don't I have. I can't. I don't have. I do have bullets, but I can't turn. Oh, I can change the bullets. Okay. I think you're gonna have to shoot them. Oh, oh, it got you. I'm still good. Oh. It did not explode. Uh, apparently I put it in the wrong spot. Oh, you're almost dead. I assume that's what the flashing hearts mean. I think so. Unless it's less deadly over here. I think I gotta put it right in the front. Oh my goodness. You'll get there, you'll get there. I will. Just launch the bullets. Already have one. Oh, you start with one. There. It's definitely beside it. Explode! And then you're gonna have to shoot a bunch of guys. I think you have to shoot them kind of on each end. They probably respawn. No, not there. Oh. It won't work. Oh, oh good. Okay. Good. Good. Again. Oh, another Let's... round of dudes. You think so? Going this way. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Okay. Oh boy. I got it. 
Yeah. Yep. One more to go. Back to bullets. Oh, he shot you. Oh my god. Good. Three out of four. I'll get it this time. Oh my god. They respawn fast. I find I accidentally hit the wrong one all the time. Did I get it? Oh. No, I don't think you dropped it. <laughs> that. That'll get it. Shoot. But you always have to remember to switch the weapon. Right after you drop the bomb, I think. Come on, dudes. Oh, there's one. Oh, you what got shot. Hit me? You, the bullets. Uh. Well, they do change angles. Right? They respawn every point. time one of them goes. So, yeah, you kind of want to make sure. Oh, you need health so bad. Mm, sadly, there's no health on this boat. shooting at him. I think they require multiple shots, those guys. You got one already, remember? Don't you start with one? No. Oh. Down at health already! Oh, he hit me? Looks what? Like Not possible. Now you're dead. Now I'm dead, yep. Tone in the music is Morse code, then I can't make any sense of it, says Proud Seven. Oh, well, maybe it's something else. You get one right away, it yeah. seems. It didn't get me, thankfully. Make sure you have bullets, because those guys are going to come back right away. They go really fast. I, I swear they're leveling up. Oh my god! I think you need to kill those guys before you put the bombs down. I They're too much so. of a distraction. Come on. Oh, you put it down. Yes. Right now, you cannot get the code right. Uh, the tune is best recognized on the first levels. Oh. So these, the code on the, these levels is the CC, I guess. He hit me? Yeah. How can he hit me? Oh, 
it. Can you walk on those areas? Uh, yeah, but it's only that area. So. How did he hit me? He walked right into my bullet stream. fast sometimes. He was pointing up! Oh, no, but it's ah. like... It, it, it's it's very sensitive. You move very quickly. Depends what's on the screen, unfortunately. In that amount of time. Good job. And then they all respawn very quickly, unfortunately. Yeah, instantly. Yeah. As soon as you pick up another bomb. Of bullets. He's, he actually follows a pretty yeah. uh, straightforward pattern. There, there we, we go. go. Careful. Do not get hit. Across the bullet stream. So come back. Ah. Yay! Woo! Oh, okay. Mission. I would have thrown the controller by now. <laughs> I want to. No! Oh! Did it! Won the game! Yay. I knew it would be. That's, that's soon. You! You! The skilled player that played a terrific game. Thanks to Zembalasoft for the original concept. Oh, is it a port? Or just that somebody? Marshall Davod, which is Mars, leading graphic artist. Carrie Kaxanen, who's in the chat. Yep. Uh, Leo Kaxanen, gameplay. No relation? No, probably a relation. <laughs> Walter Lauer testing, and special thanks to Igor Kroman uh, for blowing life into the Atari Lynx scene. Very yes, nice. he runs Atari Gamer. Uh, dot com. And Igor's wife for tolerating his Lynx hobby oh, while they're they planning, planning their wedding. wedding. Nice. John McQueen, <laughs> who is likely re to review this game and give it a fantastic <laughs> score. Plus any other journalists who say something nice about the game. There you go. Very great game. A really fun. Really, really fun game. Yeah, 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 yeah. For critics who do not like us, we have a spell. <laughs> if you hate, hate us, take this spell and make your, make your coffee taste like tea. <laughs> hmm, that did not rhyme. Besides, I'm a tea lover. Hi. Me too. Tea is good. Back to the credits. Austin <laughs> Salimly for a wonderful handy music engine. Thanks, James Bolton, for creating the SD card that you play this game on. Nice. <laughs> uh, Gisberto Rondinella for adding a pause screen and SD save support. End of credits. There you go. Soldier of Fortune. Turn off the links. <laughs> we will. Go to bed now. We yes. won't. Uh, we'll be going on to the second game, Yay! which is um, bug, hunt. Boom, boom, bug Hunt by OCO Team as well, uh, uh, by Nop90 and uh, Marshall Devod and Mikhail Yablowski, Micro for Music. Okay, if you want to load up a bug hunt. Hey, Cat92D. Oh. Playing some Lynx games. Oh, so look how pretty that is. The water animation. 
Uh, this is first posted October 10th, 2020. But this build is from August 23rd, 2021. This is a Silly Venture 2021 version. This place first in Silly Venture nice. 2021. Nice. Summer edition. Atari Lynx game competition. Um, so this... Oh. Um, this is a port of a port of a port. Okay. Thank you for resubscribing, Ground Trooper. Uh, originally, this was on the PC in 2011. Okay. And then in 2013, a PC Engine version of this game was made. Then in 2015, a Mega Drive uh, game, a version was made by Afro Monkeys, which is the graph where the graphics come from for this game. Mm. And in 2016, it was put on the C64 by Retrotech. We're just going to take a quick look at the um, Mega Drive version, where this came from, so you can see the uh, graphics. Uh, let me just Hi. open that up. Hi, warm paw. We got a warm paw. Yeah, he's giving me oh, paw taps. I'm not sure if he's just feeling lots of feels right now or he just wants treats. It's one or the other. Uh, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. So here is uh, the Mega Drive version. Nice. <laughs> Not produced by or licensed under Sega. <laughs> Let me show Sega again. Uh, I think I can remember. Siccome mi pare, questo videogioco abbia una re. So there's the title screen. Looks very similar. Nice. Level select, um, and this was uh, a mouse support Cute. on the Mega Drive. Yeah. So you're the guy in the bottom. You got a little tongue, and you get the bugs. And they the stick buggies. to your total, your tongue, and so you get the blue bugs, but you do not get the, the orange, yellow bugs. Orange bugs are bad. Or the, yeah, yellow slash orange bugs, and they're all over the screen. So you gotta put your tongue in and out. And gather as many on your tongue at the same time as possible. Before but if you, you eat them? Before you eat them, but if you go too low, then you do eat them. Yeah. But that's fine. Yeah. Well, you still get points, I yeah. assume. Cool. This seems simple. I like yep. games like that. Very simple. Hmm. So let's switch back. It's got a very sticky tongue. Super sticky. <laughs> Uh, no, this has nothing to do with the 8-bit light gun, light gun game Bug Hunt. No. Different game. Um, oh, you can interrupt anytime. We can always stop. Level uh, zero it is! <laughs> yeah, you might want to stop. It goes up levels pretty quick. I figure. Instructions included with this game. <gasps> the goal, feed an adorable dino with insects and avoid wasps in this alpha version. Um left and right to move the dino and then the button to change the length of the tongue and select levels so oh, you can go like up this. and down to avoid the yellow oh. and you just change levels because you did very well and you got a bunch of bugs so the little round dot is where your tongue will go if you haven't um, so you can in like instantly retract it to get mm -hmm. it out of the way I or you can move down and up Hey, Caffeman 2 d Checking in for a while. Good. So that's all the info I have about it. But it was uh, quite widely ported. This is the Very third game. third system it was ported to. Like I said, originally on the PC, then the PC Engine, then Mega Drive, then C64, and then this. And Mars, who did the graphics, based it on the Mega Drive version that we saw. So glad we do not have to use this abomination anymore. Thank you, Double Down, for making our uh, Lynx experience now whole. Mm -hmm. It is consoleized. It looked beautiful through the VGA. Um, thanks, um, thanks to Atari uh, gamer Igor, who did the consoleizing for this. It's an absolutely perfect Lynx system now. Four. Moving a lot faster now. Oh, kind of a unique concept, I would say. Yeah. And a, like a simplistic game. Like this could be made on the 2600. As long as you keep 
only two bugs on the same level. Might be difficult to represent. Well, you could just make them disappear. Maybe make the tongue wider at a certain part to represent that you've caught bugs. Because you can see them bunching up and that wouldn't work on the, on the um, 2600. But the tongue, the guy at the bottom, the horizontal um, movement of the bugs and their verticality would um, make it a perfect... Um... Oh, oh no! you stuck your tongue out! I, it's, I didn't mean to spit it out again. That's pretty good. Is it one life? I think it's one life. Yep, it is. Yeah. Let me start at zero. It goes <laughs> up pretty quick. It does. So, so cute! Is that the tongue of a toad? Is he a toad? I'm not sure what he is. He's pretty cute. He looks like a... I don't know about a toad. He looks like a, like a dragon almost. Like a little dragon. Some sort of reptile. I would say. But he does look dragon-y. He's mm -hmm. got horns. Dino! It said dino. Dino. There you go. Okay. Dino's like bugs. I'm gonna get a million bugs on my tongue here. Get no score until you retract it though. Yep. Going for the big score. It's kind of oh, chunking you down. You have to, you have to, yeah. When that guy comes low, oh, you, you have very to. good score. 17,000. Oh, okay, yeah. It uh, can only go so low. Yeah. And when the yellow ones, or orange, fly also, low, you're done. Also, your tongue only moves at a certain speed, so it's sometimes it's like, ah, slow. okay, I gotta You're forced to it. Looks like a biceratops. A mm -hmm. biceratops. And um, on the higher levels, the bugs get really fast, so you're not really doing this kind of thing anymore. Because mm. you can't, you can't, it's just not possible. It's just too fast and hectic. Actually, if you keep the things on your tongue, the system slows down more and more mm. so that everybody flies slow. So that's kind of a tactic. Does it only boost you up one level, or the levels based on s total score? I don't know. I Maybe it's the number of retractions of your tongue? I don't know. Because the first one I, I retracted once. Yeah, and, and then I you, went up a whole level. Yeah, so maybe it is score. I'm sure there's like a multiplier. Two per line isn't a real limitation. Even without flickering, you can get creative with missiles, the ball, repeating players, Venetian blinding, etc. True. Yeah. That's true. Um, you could get a little crazy with the Venetian blinding. Um, and have multiple, like, four of them. I mean, the tongue would be uh, the ball. How many should I go for? I don't know. Just oh, force. That guy's coming low, so. Yeah, let's do it. Level six. Nice. Look okay, at your it, score. It does. Now it's Ramp crazy. up really fast. Yeah, you can jump levels. Nope. Yeah, you're going to have to retract quickly a little. So, on these levels, I think the tactic is just make your tongue very tall and uh, just retract it when, uh, when a, uh, an orange guy comes. Jumping. Oh, level seven already. Eight. Oh my goodness. I think your tongue's too high. There's nothing that yeah. high up. Yeah. Okay, I'll bring it down. Yeah, they don't really go. In. No, they go. They do go up pretty high. Yeah, but not. Oh, God. oh, there's so many. Oh my God. They obviously program an imbalance fairly quickly. No, oh, maybe not. But definitely more orange ones. Oh higher yeah. Higher levels. Way, way more. It is score, obviously, that shifts you already at level no 9, 10? Yep. Wow. <laughs> it's like just darting in and out your time. Yeah. Because the retraction is just too slow to avoid yeah. the, the orange ones, so you just might as well keep your tongue long. Oh, now they're super. Everybody's quick now. Now you have to play it like this. Like a froggy. Frogger. Froggy. 
So cute. Like frogs and flies. That great game. Early 8-bit uh, systems. So 2600 and in television? I don't think it was ever made for Coleco. And Coleco was just a little bit too released too late for that game. They're like, nah, it's, that game's been out for too long. Oh, 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 oh I pressed at the wrong time. Level what 13. To me. Excellent. Good stuff. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to go on to the next game, because I think we showed off what that one was about. Very fun, mm -hmm. very cute. Very colorful. Yes. really like the backgrounds and the, uh, the bugs. We're here. Party time for kittens. It's party time. Yay, thank you, Gamma Dev. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, cats, cats. cats. I'm going to be adding some more rewards soon that people oh. can trigger. Oh. Um... Don't think they're related to cats, but they'll be fun. Not specifically cat related. Not specifically cat related. L Tari, look at this guy. Look at this you guy. You want this? No, nope. it's like nope, he'll come back. No, nope, he's coming over. Oh, you'll keep it handy because here. Here. here, here, come here. Oh my gosh, cats! <laughs> That's for Tari. <laughs> Who will get high first? Sprite is in the lead. <laughs> yeah. For getting high. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Oh, oh, Sprite. So rude. He doesn't like to share. There we go. There's some sharing. Yeah, be a good kitty. Oh, oh so, so happy. So rude. <laughs> Atari went to the vet today. Yes. Um, because he attacked my toe. No. Yeah. Because he got his foot caught in the shower and then he attacked my toe. Uh, yeah. If you didn't watch that episode. Yeah, a couple episodes ago. Um, and they shaved his leg so we can watch it, make sure it's not healing properly. So it's healing properly, and it, it's it was fine. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be bothered by it, but it's uh, got it's got a scar. He deserves a few treats because he endured um, being put in a cage and Poking driven, and prodding. driven to the vet, and then poked mm. by the vet, and then driven in a cage back, meowing mm. the whole way there and back. He hates the cage. I actually think he doesn't mind the vet so much. No, it's just the cage and the drive. Absolutely hates it. So, hi. Oh, are you oh. high? Have you had enough? Why? Have you had enough? Oh. Yeah. Oh. You like the catnip? Okay. So You uh, like the nip? Let's load up Do you uh, like the nip? Fortitude. All right. And this is uh we'll play it two player. Okay. Oh, it's two player. Yep. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Wow, they have such beautiful animations and beautiful characters. <laughs> That one has voice, but we couldn't hear it. It's too quiet in the room. Mm. Hey! Now they're hey. fighting. Oh my god. Oh, what happened? Press button. Oh, never mind. Okay, so let's go to uh, the credits. Credit. Fortitude 2.0, an advanced 3D tic-tac-toe. Thank you to Mars for sending over version 2.0. Nice. Not sure when 2.0 was released, but the hell are you doing, Kevin? He's oh. playing with the lid now. There's all the credits. Uh, Micro did the music. Uh, Mars did the graphics. Um, and Knock90 did the concept and coding. First posted September 3rd, 2019. And uh, this was released at Atari Link's 30th birthday coding competition. Nice. Came in seventh place. Nice. Um, okay, so it's based on 3D tic tac toe. Okay. Um, also known by the trade name Cubic. It was released uh, in 1972 by Parker Brothers, okay. and I believe is a board game. Okay, that would make sense. Um, Following 3D chess, as seen on uh, Star Trek. Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, I think they're like, oh, oh, we can actually make it. Yeah. Okay, so press button. Let's go to the uh, instructions or tutorial. At least. Tutorial. Tutorial. <laughs> Fortitude is a tic-tac-toe variant played on a 4x4x4 cubicle array of cells. Players take turns placing their markers in blank cells in the array. Nice. Page. Oh, no, I don't think there's another page. Did you press A? Or Tutorial. Maybe left and right. There we go. 
There we go. First player to achieve four of their own markers in a row win. The winning row can be horizontal, vertical, diagonal on a single board, as in regular tic-tac-toe, or vertically in a column, or a diagonal line through the four boards. Makes sense. When it's your turn, move on the board with the directional pad and place your movement with the A key, then wait for the move of the opponent. Making four in a row is not simple because there are only 72 possible winning lines. And if two players place at least one mark in one of the positions, it cannot be used anymore to win the game. Just like tic tac Yeah. You can't do a vertical if there's opponents there. First, defense strategy to learn in this game is to block your opponent and make a row. Yes. Master this game, you'll have to learn to develop a board situation for placing a mark on the board. You create several, two or more, opportunities to make four in a row at the next move yeah. so that the opponent can block any one line, just like a yeah. normal tic-tac-toe. Yeah, just there's more options. Fortitude can be played against the Link CPU or versus another player playing on the same Link's alternating moves or with two Links connected with a Link's comm cable, which yeah. we don't have two Links' or a comm cable. Yeah, but the we com can pass the yeah. controller back and forth, right? A comm cable is just an audio cable. Yeah. Um, ranked in ranked games, the ranks of the two players can change the result of the game. Fortitude has three save slots. Every save slot can be used to track the progress of a player. Very nice. Yep. Selecting the fur for the first time is in an unused save slot. The player rank starts from zero, but can rise up to ten when against stronger players. Uh, when you play CPU, CPU is ranked at strength level. By default, the CPU strength is strength set to your rank plus one or at ten if it's your rank, since ten is the max rank. But you can change it before starting the game. Start learning the game with the CPU at a low level because it's very hard to beat when its strength raises. Unranked games can be useful to train your skill against CPU or against another player. An unranked games the result of the game is not saved in the save slot, but when you but you can use two training tools when you play against the CPU, you can undo moves and you can ask for hints. During your turn B to use one of these tools you will be playing the CPU. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, direction key navigates. A, B selects options or places a mark. B, access training tools. Pause, pause, unpause. Okay. Go on. Game controls to option, change board visualization. Rotate. Rotate. Mute or unmute musics. Pause and option one back to the game. Okay, we probably won't be doing any of these. Playing. But option two would be interesting to see. That's the end. Okay. So let's play a versus opponent. Play oh, actually, the opponent. That's okay. uh, same console. Okay, thank you. Yeah, correct. Slot one. Slot two. So player one turn, move one. Oh, I see. Go down like that. Visualization. So if I go there, I block you. That, that type of thing. So you're going through for vertical. Hey, oh, hey, hey! Is it yellow and red? Oh, okay. I'm not sure why it's yellow and red. Okay, that's okay. So you're doing that, so I'm going to block. Mine's yellow and yellow. Mm -hmm. Mine turned green on the top. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, 3D tic-tac-toe. Which was on the 2600. They did make a 3D tic tac toe. So, computer implementations. Um, several computer programs that played the game against human opponents have been written. The earliest of these used console lights and switches, text terminals, or similar interactions. Human player would enter moves numerically, for example, 4 2 3, fourth level, second row, third column. Then they give a um, picture of 3D tic-tac-toe on the 2600, which is one of probably the more, more recent commercial. So it's the center of the square that matters, because you just put one there, right? Yep. Oh, I'm not going to have any of that, so. 
So you have to visualize in many different ways. Yes. Uh, straight down, across and down, mm -hmm. on the same platform as well. Um, an interesting tidbit about um, 3D Tic-Tac-Toe. The game has been analyzed mathematically and a first player win strategy has been developed and published. Oh, I'm not surprised. So there is a way, if you play the first move, you can win and there's no way to block. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, tic-tac-toe is like that. Too many dimensions for my brain, yeah. yeah. However, the dimensions. strategy is too complicated for most human players to memorize and apply. I can see that. So if you're really, really smart and can think in multiple dimensions, yeah. you can win this game every single time, which is crazy to think about. Did you move yet? Getting there. Oh, you forced my hand. <clears throat> I have to go there. <clears throat> Bastard. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. Um... I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Yeah, see in the bottom right corner? Yeah. It draws... Um, Options or yeah, things, blocks? Ways or? that people can win. And the oh, things I see. all the way down the right hand side are representations yeah. of different... Different visualizations of ways that the board can be rearranged. Mm -hmm. So it's a good... A good way to look at that. I'm, I'm not just, sure what the yeah. white means. Though. I guess that's where you are right now. How about a nice game of chess? Mm -hmm. The only winning move is not to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, literally, if the first person that makes a move can win automatically, the winning move is not to play. Yes. <laughs> Double down. Your joystick is working immaculately. Perfectly. It is absolutely perfect on the links. Oh my god, such a relief. Should I burn this on during the stream? <laughs> no, it's my only uh, Sega Master System gamepad. I do have a Sega Master System, so I do not want to get rid of it. I don't think I have a multi-cart for the Master System. It's one of the systems I don't have a multi-cart for. Okay. Uh... Useless, number, useless two. number two. Aww. Get the Cri Crix uh, EverDrive plays SMS and SG-1000. Does it play SG-1000 on the Master System? That would be really cool. I'm guessing it does, otherwise you wouldn't say it. Yeah, that would be cool to have um, access to the SG-1000 library as well. Yeah, I'll get that um, next... Um, Next sale. When does he have it? Does he have it during Thanksgiving or Boxing Day? Thankfully, Crix is doing okay. He lives in uh, Ukraine. And he was he was having trouble for a little bit, actually. Yeah. He was out of communication for a little while, but uh, he got his store back up and running. So, stay safe, Crix. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this game just forces you to play till you put a box in every square, or if it recognizes that. Probably. Or recognizes that it's there's no more moves that can win. I think it's only like 134. I don't play Sega Master System ever, um, but I'm trying to get <laughs> a. Um, 
an EverDrive or equivalent for every system I have and load it up so that anytime I can pop it in, play the homebrews. Um, I might have to, uh, be having a Dreamcast episode in the future. Um, okay, so I'm yellow. What do we have? I don't see you making any inroads. Nope, not really so... getting very far. <laughs> a little offensive here. Okay. I was looking at something else. That was not really what I planned to do there. Uh, let's see. Um, ugh, everything blocked. Oh no! Tanya wins! Yeah. <laughs> she was throwing me off the sand. <laughs> I, there's always an advantage to tic tac toe by going first. Always. Yes. The paradox is that your perfect controller made you frustrated enough with on duty that you almost threw the controller, but when you were frustrated with the game, you could blame the controller. No, there is no. Can always rebuild the controller hard. or blame the software, but oddly, oddly, no one ever throws the game in frustration. Ooh, I bet there's some people who rip it out and chuck the cartridge across oh, the room. Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot more work than the thing you have in your hand. <laughs> well, this is an excellent, beautiful implementation of 3D tic-tac-toe. I love, I love all the uh, graphics, the, the extra imagery on the side. Uh, stuff on the side. You can see where Tanya won four in a row. And it visualizes it on a flat 2D yes. plane. Yes. On the one third down on the left, fourth down on the left. Yeah. You can see. Doo, doo, doo. That's such a great add-on for 3D tic tac toe. Yes. Yeah. So great job, Nop and Mars, mm -hmm. and uh, Micro for the music. Um, so we're moving on to our last game Ooh. of the day. Uh, scrambling upstairs, probably chasing a bug. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is lawnmower, or wasp, or just a toy. Oh, oh Sprite's going Sprite's to investigate. Like, What's going on? Okay. I do have to update my menu because on the new version of the menu, you can have um, lawnmower, right? Folders, so I can actually yeah lawnmower. Silly Venture, 2019. Keeping the legacy of the Atari scene alive. Uh, do you need to change the cart there? I do, thank you. Ooh. I don't know what it is about lawn mowing games that are so satisfying. Plus, making something clean. Yeah. Look at those patterned. butterflies. The Lynx has an astounding ability for graphics. Mm. Like, astounding. Um, it's only limited by the resolution, really. Mm. And you can do a lot with this resolution. I crinkled a few floppy disks back in my youth. Punched a hole in the walls again. Yeah. Have you calmed down now? Yeah. <laughs> Have you sat and thought about your past mistakes? I'm sure you, you've mourned those floppy disks, though. Yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, I wish I had them back. Uh, um, so this is by the OCO team as well. Nop90 for code. Uh, Marshall Davod Mars for graphic and level design. And Galafuk for music. Mm -hmm. uh, first posted to December 7th, 2019. This is the Silly Venture 2019 competition version. This came in sixth place. Uh, must have pretty stiff competition. This is a pretty cool game. Um, Mars messaged me saying regarding lawnmower, press option on the links for instructions. So let's press A. Yeah, that's That's A. a. Okay. The lawnmower going by. Oh, I like it. <laughs> nice fade. So, um, 
mower. I pieced together this scrolling yeah. for the cartridge art. Nice! I had to take two captures for each of those nice. words. It Excellent. turned out really nicely. Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, so let's press option. Oh, sorry. I didn't think there was an option. Select game mode. I'm gonna go back. Okay, there we go. There we go. Contest for the best lawnmower is open and you want to win first prize. First, train yourself with nine basic lawns. Then enter the competition and mow the worst lawns in the city. Nice. To be a pro mower, remember, cut only the grass between because, because the flowers and the other obstacles make you lose fuel and do not hurt the moles if you don't want to be disqualified. But if you close their holes, they will stop disturbing you. If you are short of fuel, find a tank before it's over. Some special tanks have less fuel but contain additives that give you bonus powers for a limited time. Nice. There are three difficulty le levels. It is better to practice with the easy one before trying the others. Good luck. <laughs> Good job. Oh my god. <gasps> and inhale. Is the Lynx color palette too restrictive? I'm not... I oh, it looks pretty. Yeah, maybe training first? We could always exit yeah, out of training. I think so. Too easy. Long one. Don't need fuel yet. A little early. So you have a fuel bar at the top. That's actually good training. Halfway through the fuel. So it lasts a little while. I know in this game, if you hit things, your fuel goes down a ton. So we've done 73% oh my goodness. on. Oh my goodness, it doesn't turn very easily. Turn! I would hold it preemptively to turn. Oof. Is it me? It's me. It's you. You. <laughs> Can't yeah. have everything though. No, it's pretty good, this one. Level clear! Oh, don't run over the flowers this time. Ugh. There were a lot of lawn mowing games in the 80s. Uh, amazingly. I played one of my C64 quite a lot. Um, backwards. Oh! Get turn. off the flowers! Turn. Turn. Oh! I played Hover Bobber on the. Uh, Hover Bobber? Hover Bobber. On the 1983's Hover Bobber, made by Jeff Minter, who did Tempest 2000. Hi, Stretchy. Come here. You can't be up there. Uh, Game Boy had green and black green. Uh, no, same palette as the Amiga, which oh, had pretty stop. good. I think the Amiga had a thousand colors. Way better than any of its contemporaries. You couldn't pay me to enter a lawn mowing contest. This is very hard. It's way harder than I thought it was going to be. Well, it's because it's tile based. So you have to press the direction at the right time to make the tile. It's good you're doing uh, tutorial levels. First. Yeah. You can get used to the um, I tile based. I overshoot a lot. Uh, so you have to press a little bit earlier than you need to. 4,096, not 1,024. That's a lot of colors. But it also depends on... Oh, you need fuel? Badly. Uh, oh, there's no 99%. fuel left. Got I think the fuel it's down too the early. Bottom. I think I just got it too early. Oh, was it down at the bottom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it depends how many palette colors per sprite, per line, per screen, etc., etc., that um, kind of is the limiting factor. Kind of like on a 2600, you can pretty much only have one color per line for your sprite. I mean, theoretically, could? I don't know if that's possible to do the timing so you could change colors halfway through a sprite on a 2600. It's probably definitely not worth it, if you know, even if you could do it. Oh, right through the flowers. Oh, oh you're destroying all the flowers. Oh. oh, get the fuel immediately. Oh, oh just too late. Yeah, it's a lot harder than it seems. You have to really pre-turn. Yeah, especially when there is like, not a lot of room. Way earlier than you think you need to. 
Like when you're on the previous tile, almost. So, the uh, description of Hover Bobber. The purpose of the game is to mow the lawn using the neighbor's mower while avoiding static obstacles and flower beds and mobile enemies, including the neighbor himself. The player's pet dog will antagonize the neighbor and keep him away. But as the dog itself is vulnerable to the mower, the care must be taken not to run it over. I was testing not this game, but super, super similar. Um, there's lots of work-based games. Another game on the C64 was like a garbage man game. You had to collect... Oh, God, oh, no! The whole row of flowers! There She's we like, go. I won't turn. I'm just going to keep going on the flowers. Well, no, because it takes, like, two tiles to turn anyway, so... Now, you can speed up with one of oh, the buttons. Oh, can you? With the A, um, a button, which is the right button. I don't think I want to speed up, unless unless I get through it's it faster. Lo- yeah, yeah, I think you do, but it's more dangerous. So with the fuel, I'm not sure if there's limited number of fuels, because they keep... Well, they seem to respawn. This is only tutorial levels. Yeah. So... I mean, in, in the actual levels, you're right. Like, the arcade level. Oh, oh the rock. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Ooh, you hit one of those once, you're, you're done. Okay, let me play okay. the tutorial. You're going to do way better than I am. Well, we'll see. <laughs> you can pay me to enter a lawn mowing contest. No. no I'm always impressed funny. when you see people and they, like, put beautiful, like, diagonal lines in their... That's what grass I used to do. and did you? Yeah. Oh my. I had to cut and I cut it opposite directions. Well, you worked at a at a golf course, right? Yeah. For some I part of your. I never cut the lawn though because that oh. freaked me out. Yeah. Because you mess it up. Actually, I never cut the green. The green. Because you, you mess would... that up, you're dead meat. Yeah. Like, you, you would just cut the rough fired. or whatever, like. Yeah. A... Oh, it's so low on death. fuel. Yeah. I think you can go over two rocks with a fuel, full fuel tank. Yeah. What happens if you hit the edge? Just nothing. Okay. You just stop? That's good. Good to know. So it's not a panic time at the corners. My dad always, uh, anything garden related was... He would insist on doing? Yeah, yeah. He loves his garden and he always mowed the lawns and he always did all the gardening. So when I was growing up, my parents had a large lawn. Yeah. We had a ride-on mower because it was so large. Um, And that was my job. Before we got the ride-on mower... Where's the fuel? I had to do it by hand. Took forever! Yeah, I bet. Um, and then I got a job um, at a place that grew grass to sell as sod. Yeah. Um, they also grew trees as well to sell. Okay. Um, so I cut that grass. And then I got a job at a golf course. <laughs> um, but mostly I um, sanded and seeded the, um, the teeds. Where people would take divots out oh. when they teed off. They got teed off. And, teed and, off, and yeah. my other job was refilling the, uh, the water at each of the uh, tees. It doesn't sound like the worst job. No, it I was I mean, it's, it was it's fine. labor, but. Uh... <laughs> oh, it was very easy. Um, the worst part of the job was the jokes about. <laughs> The what, golf jokes? The go- not, not the <laughs> golf jokes, but they made jokes about what was in the things besides water. Oh, uh, every single time? It's like, oh, any beer in there? And I said, not today. <laughs> every single over day? Over and over <laughs> and over. And I just uh, didn't bother coming up with new jokes. Yeah. It's like, no, nope, not today. Yeah. <laughs> in hopes that they would stop asking. Oh, I know. They never did because it was different people every time, I'm sure. Yep. Telling the same jokes. So, I had a huge amount of empathy and... Um, 
Oh, God. <gasps> oh no, get Go the fuel! Down. Oh no! Oh, it went crazy! Um, <laughs> yeah, I had a bucket hat, chase gophers. Yeah. Um, empathy for people who work any kind of retail or deal with the public. Oh, yeah. Um, especially a retail when the number is not coming up when you're scanning it. And oh, it's like, yeah. oh, is it free then? Uh, the oh, the same jokes every God. single time. Yeah. And it would just be the same joke. So <laughs> if you think you're original, no, you're when not. you're making a joke to somebody at a retail place, they've heard it a billion times. They've heard your joke so many times. Yeah. And they're being polite by, by, well, ha, 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 by, by <laughs> laughing at it or their response. They've said it a hundred times. To true. So, I, I work well, retail. You can't turn around. Yeah, you can. You can't go backwards. Um, I worked in retail, and people would say, you know, jokes like that, too. Yeah. That, none of that ever bothered me, because they were just, like, very simple interactions anyway. So it's like, oh, you say this, and then I say that. Like, I, I don't know why. It never bothered me, those kinds of jokes. But would people jokes say the same thing to you I, yeah, I don't, I don't every care. single day? I'm, I'm there to Multiple help them buy stuff. Like, I'm saying the same things over and over again anyway so it tolerant. doesn't really no but i'm not i'm not there to have a conversation <laughs> with people i'm there to do my job right so i didn't never really bother me that much yeah. but i can i can see how like for the 500th time going like yeah yeah you're not you're not clever <laughs> it's yeah. been said many times before so these are just That's the practice funny. levels still there's some patterns some uh, flowers, there's some rocks now. Yeah. Getting, uh, getting a bit more complicated. But we got a pretty good handle on it, except for where the fuel is. Where's the fuel? Where's the fuel? Let's see it. Let's be over here. Oh god! Where's the fuel? Oh no! Ah! <gasps> oh! Just missed it. Oh, like no. three pixels away. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go around the outside edge so I can kind of find where the fuel is. There it is. Okay. Thank you. Once you know where it is, you can. Oh, this is a pretty big. Uh, this is a big one. Plot. And like kicks, of... it has a um, percentage yeah. done. Yeah. Which is oh, kind of wow. nice. Wow. Even just one tour around, that's half your takes fuel. Takes up. And, and like mowing in real life, you do have to kind of figure out a good pattern yeah. for your lawn. Yeah, true. Except on this one, it's on the fly because you don't know what the, lawn, the whole lawn yeah, looks if like. It, if you've done it enough, maybe. Oh, the fuel is yet. Okay, it's okay. We're good. We're all good here. Everybody's good. <laughs> We're in conversation anyway. Ah, come on. I like how you can reverse. That's good. Oh, good. Let's go over here. Do some over here before I come back. No! No! Oh, God! Oh, it kind of goes nuts it when goes, you hit things. Yeah. It seems to go nuts. Yeah. Carefully, you don't want to get sued by TT. Uh, what did I say? What did I say that reminded you of him? Or did somebody else type something? Oh, that. No, somebody typed oof. Oof. Many, many uh, documentaries about that. What? Oof? Uh, a whole documentary about um, Oof and Tommy Tellerico. Really? Yeah. What's it's that? a sound in Roblox. Oh! Oh, yeah! We watched it. Oh, we did watch it. I didn't realize it was Oof. That was the sound. That's funny. Um, done by um, who did the video. I really well done. Yeah. The guy who says, hello, you legends. Hello, you legends. <laughs> um, seasoning, summoning salt? No. No, that's the guy who um, just does speak ones. He has a new one. Oh, I have to watch it tonight. Oh, we also have to watch Red Letter Media. True. There's so much to watch. <laughs> so so much so much to watch, not enough time in the day. <laughs> Carl Jobst? Jo Carl Jobst, yeah. Jobst? That's Jobst? Right. Yeah. He does amazing videos. Yeah. 
He's a speedrunner. VVG Double Down says, I just mowed my one acre before the show. Can't, oh. I can't wait to do it again in four days. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, you must get a lot of a lot of rain. That's how big mine, yeah. I think, three quarters of an acre. Three quarters of an acre. Was oh. our parents' soil. An acre is even bigger. Yeah. Um, you need you need the uh, Okay, bridle. we got a... What? Let's, oh. let's go to the... Let's go to the actual game. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think we practiced enough. Well, you've practiced enough. I'm not sure I'm going to do very well, but there I'll, I'll do it. a couple rounds. There we go. Um, back to the menu. Let's do this. Arcade mode. Oh, multiplayer. Nope, that's not good. Difficulty? I'll go easy. Best code first. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see if it's in here. Best it is. <laughs> best. It's the best line. Password mower. Goodness. Guess you can turn around. Oh, is that a gopher? What? Oh, right over the oh, rock. Oh, no. Cause... Went, turned around and went back over the rock. No, because I was trying to go down, but of course, oh. again, turning is not easy. It is not. So, update on my toe. Um. Okay. Toe update. Toe update. Um, I'm able to wear socks now, which is great. Hurrah! I don't have any band aids on it anymore. Um, it doesn't hurt. If anything, it's itchy. Um, I'm able to wear shoes. That's a gopher. You can go over his holes. Seals him up. Um, I don't know what else. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, I don't I want you to go. Come on. I was oh. Uh oh over the rocks. I turned too late. Show that rock who's boss. I know. This is why you, no one lets me. Um, you think we, uh, with our no scientific rocks. advances, we can make grass that reaches a certain height then stops growing? Agreed. One day. One well, day. that's why people grow moss, right? Yes, moss is so much better. A ground covering? Yeah, I do. What is it? It's not even going the direction I want it to. It's because you're not pressing in the direction. Apparently. What I do is I hold the direction a little bit. You kind of have to. So that it recognizes it. You're doing a terrible job of this lawn. Ah! Well, no! Go down! <laughs> oh, now on oh the real God. game, it has a pointer to where the fuel is, which is good. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, you can't run over whatever Thank that is. Thank goodness. called AstroTurf. Well, true, but that is plastic. That's not quite as uh, there environmentally quite friendly. There are quite a few places. Feel... Don't run over the rock. Um, that one. In the... Gopher. Don't Did kill the gophers. No. Like Do not. Good news, you're healing. Yeah, I was... I'm actually super surprised how well and fast it's healing. Ready for antibiotics, I guess. It does really has nothing to do with the heal. It has to do with the uh, lack of being oh, get the fuel go. quick. Lack of being dead <laughs> from cat saliva. Oh the UF1 was H Bomber guy, yeah. I, I seem to remember it was a one-off, but I still like Carl. Turned it just turned like that's all. Get your fuel, start heading over. Guessing it's infinite fuel. There's no score. So you don't get less score. God, could it be further away? Oh my god, are you pressing oh, the button? No! It's it's it I got a speed power up. Oh. Oh my god, this is insane! <laughs> speed power up. I do not helping. need the speed power up. Carl's natural enemy is, is Billy alien. Mitchell. Oh, you got first place. <laughs> Funny. Ooh, Didn't get through level that's one. That's a slow scroll. Yeah. Tub. Tub for you. Yeah. I have friends near Phoenix and all, their whole backyard is rocks. <laughs> they had it brought in too expensive to grow and water grass. Yeah, hot places, Phoenix. 
like Las yep. Vegas, that area. I get it. Put plant natural plants and put in rocks. Oh yeah, um, it, it, rocks look great. A rock garden. The house we like the the building we're in. A lot of it we have replaced it with mulch and stones. Oh yeah, so. And there is a little bit of grass, but not a lot. Bit. And there's a lot what? of yeah, exactly. Um, there's a lot of. Um, landscaping but not a lot of grass i like it and i think it better than grass it's easier for everyone if you don't have to mow grass too much but it's not very big right the space is not huge so. yeah yeah speed power up more like speed trap Agreed. it is that's bad news i don't think bad, i want to speed power up <laughs> bad bad news nope, nope, nope. i assume it. that's an apple core but yeah. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. Lawnmowers make short work of apple cores. Or mushroom. I guess just general trash. General trash, yeah. That you can't run over. It's quite a bit of detail in this lawn. Yeah. Like, that's a lot of work. A lot of, uh... Garbage all over the place. You I think know. if you were gonna mow the lawn, you'd pick up the garbage first. Probably get the fuel now. Oh, oh, where's the fuel? Oh, there it is. It's right there. Quite there. So we got tickets to. Uh, no. Oh yeah, uh, we got tickets to Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Shouldn't have brought it up. Uh, that's Maybe right. A toy plane? Could be a toy plane. Oh, yep. Uh, yes, which is being June. held in June, so yep. we're very excited for that. It's yep. not a big one, no. the Vancouver one is, but it's it's grown over the last few years. It's, it's, it's uh, small, uh, small to medium, like, yeah, I've seen it's... other uh, retro gaming expos, like videos of them from all over the US. It's, <laughs> it's on the it's small end, like if PRG is the big one. Yeah. Um, it's about the third, a third the size of PRG. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't it's... have the arcade though. It has no, like they, they one do... game. Oh, oh they do. Um, oh my God. They do have some. Um, finish at least one level. Computer it's... gaming, like retro yes, computer game it's clubs, pretty good that for that. Bring um, a lot of systems. older systems and computers to to yeah. demo. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and it has a very good console room. Yes. Very good console. Yes, room. a lot of consoles. Yeah. yeah so. so there's there's lots to do. And a pretty decent size sales floor. Yeah, um, and that's grown over the years, I think. Yeah. And and uh, a number of uh, talks as well. Yep. Um, which I did one last year. Um, a panel. Yeah, you mediated I did, it, I did right? Talk. Yeah, yeah. I mediated it. They yeah. did do a call out for um, panels. I was, I'm just too busy this year to do one, but I would like to do one on just um, like 2600 homebrew or or Atari homebrew. That would be cool. Just giving an overview of <gasps> oh, right in the one rock. rock. I know. So going to mobile stream it as Beef Supreme 07. The 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 PRG. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just I'm just walking around. Uh, PRG will do something. Yeah. Um, well, we could we could do a little <gasps> can video. I race? Can I race? Play with the other button. I don't know. Yes. Uh, we could we could film a little video while we're there or something. Uh, yeah, we'll do it on the phone. Yeah, and then um, post that. Yeah. That'd be fun. Okay. Hey, Rod uh, Kassler. Hey, Rod Kassler. Only a, a psychopath would landscape a yard like that with so many dead ends. Yeah, it's bad news. Oh, great. Should we try another type? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm not sure what the types are. I don't have any There's info. arcade and then norm. I'm going easy. back to easy again. Best code first? Sure. Maybe this. This is the first one. Is it? Oh, maybe it's based on you and the best lawn you've made it to. Or you can input a code to go to one Gosh. that you want because this one, is the code is mower. So this mm. is first and best because we haven't finished even one level. <laughs> yep. So that's what makes sense. Uh, that, that makes sense. This is kind of a relaxing game. It is, it's not, I mean, it's bad when you hit something, but until you so hit something, hard. it's not bad. It's kind of peaceful and relaxing. 
It's like those other simulators, those farm simulators, where you're like mowing this huge field and it takes five minutes just to get across your wheat field. I don't know how I'm gonna get all the those tiny little things. Yeah, the itty bits. Oh, oh, stop get the it! Oh, quick! Oh, I find a uh, yeah. Oh, look at this baby! Hi! Oh, oh he's, he's like cuddled. He's, he's asleep. He's, he's asleep. He's on his back, asleep. The funny thing about the lives in this, it doesn't remember what you've mowed. It starts from scratch, completely from scratch again. So you have to do the whole lawn in one life. Yep. Red Castler says, Funny how some retro friends in California were just talking about being tired of mowing lawn this time of year. I'll point them to this game. So after you've mowed your lawn, you yes, can go in you and can play. Go and mow more lawns. Mow some virtual vir lawns. You need to feel very badly. Oh, I do. Oops. Just down into the right. There it is. You know where it is? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Out of view. And a happy mower. He's so cute. He's leaning up against Tanya. Me. His head he's on like her arm. Fast asleep. He's upside down. And he's got his legs all out in front of him. Oh, you can see it on the camera. Yeah. I mean, he's just a black blob. But... This game is rageerific. Especially the fact you have to do it in one life. Oh, oh good job. Good maneuvering. I would uh, get some fuel soon. Remember, hover bobber is uh, was a little bit easier, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Phew! Tia's is running like a champ. Oh yeah, <gasps> until oh. she's not, and get that fuel immediately. Lucky you survived that. Oh my goodness! So. Lucky. I don't know how anyone finishes this. <laughs> I. It's just so complicated. It is tough. It is a tough game. It's mostly because of the way it controls. It's tile-based, so you have to get the tile turning at the right time. But you get more and more used to it. I don't know if you're supposed to mow that and you just have to be near a fuel, or just completely... Maybe there are mushrooms growing out of the ground. A lawnmower can handle mushrooms. What the hell's going on up there, Kat? <gasps> no! Oh, it's like you hit no. one! Uh, that was, I was doing pretty well there. Yep. Top place. Woo! Bet. I'm gonna give my one one more go for me. Okay. And then we'll be It's done. a good game, but I'm not sure how you pass the first level. <laughs> I... They look like handcrafted, but they also could be procedurally generated groupings as well. But I mean, it's the same level we're playing over and over again. Yeah. So either it's, it could be either of those. Yeah. Rage reset. Yeah. Rawr! <laughs> no. Not normal. Why is it setting it to normal? I oh, it just automatically Normal's does that. Normal's too hard. That, I, think. I can't imagine. I don't know what harder <laughs> is. Is a lawnmower go faster? Uh, you could. Try you, or maybe there's even more obstacles. I would uh, think. We're gonna go for yeah. Just to you look should try a hard a, tr a try hard level just to see. Maybe the fuel runs out faster. That makes a lot more sense. Um, could be any of those or, or all of the above. No one else has gotten the speed up though, <laughs> which was insanity. <laughs> I think, I think the problem with the speed Jesus. up is um. You're just not expecting it. Oh, now you're going super fast. Yeah. 
Because I knew there was a. Oh, long do you, does your fuel. Oh, you know what? The fuel does. Doesn't, doesn't decrease faster, does it? No, it doesn't actually. Oh, that's, that's the key. But you have infinite fuel, so. That's not really. A, no, because to get back no to the fuel faster. Oh. I think speeding up would get you there faster. It's dangerous, though. It is if dangerous. If you don't know what's. Oh, my God, that's what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know what's in your path. But oh. really, where's the fuel? It's not on there yet. Come on, fuel. Right back. Yeah, that does help a lot, getting to the fuel. Faster, yeah. I survived a rock. You have to have a lot of fuel to survive a rock. That's... That doesn't seem to do much. No, luckily. The rocks are the worst. Yeah. One and you're pretty much dead if your fuel is low. So do you do you think you have to get whatever that is? Mm, I don't think so. It doesn't seem to hold you back too much. No. We'll know when I load everything but those. It doesn't seem to take much out of it. No, it doesn't. So it, it could possibly is that a water dish? Dog water dish. Going, there's a fuel right there. Oh, that's a speed up. Oh god, why? When does it wear off? You do get uh, <laughs> you do get some fuel. Where's the fuel? I need it back. Oh, up up into the right. Oh, you slowed down. I don't want that. How did it have an S on it? Is that what it Yes, it is okay. an S. It does give you fuel though, and I think you have uh, to get it or you don't get another to? fuel. Yeah. You're pretty much forced to, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. What? Ugh. Get the fuel, get the fuel. Oh, it blocks you, thank god. One hit, I'm dead. Yeah. You almost got it. Oh my god! What is this? Can I mow anything? Maybe. I think I can, because I'm blinking. Oh! Did it hurt me? No. Oh, no, you can get that much more easily. Ugh, I don't know that what that was, was scary. about. Super power up. Is that mowed? No. Ninety-nine percent. Where so, is it? What are you missing? There's some at the bottom. Oh. oh. Yay! Oh, a level. One level, level on easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hard game. Like the, the DCU. DC. <laughs> oh Rocks god, I wasn't everything. paying attention. My mower started to Yep. There's Ran no over some flowers. Oh, it's huge. Yep. Oh, it's massive. <laughs> Play till I die, and that then we'll fair. see what hard is. Yes. A good tactic on a big one like this is just mow near the fuel. Yeah, well, uh, that's what I was doing when I had a good run, ah. is I just did, okay, here's the fuel, I mow around, get the fuel. Uh, I mow around the fuel, go to where the fuel is, and mow around it, and then, and then if you accidentally hit something too, you're right next to where you need to be to fuel back up as well. So, I feel like that's a tactic. Some rocks. I made this rock card. No, just get back 
have to use it all there. Did you? Ooh, how are you feeling about the new joystick after a couple of hours with it? Oh, it's so good. I like it. <laughs> so good. It's working out really well. It has a really nice click to it, too. Yep. Not too loud. No. Nope. Subtle, so that it's not like clack, clack, clack. Um, I really like it. Um, the form factor is like the Bratwurst, which I do really like. It's um, comfortable in your hand, in your lap. Um, the layout is good. I love, of course, all the amazing options that it gives um, for various platforms. Can I go see what's going yeah. on? Because that cat is going insane. Yeah, he's chasing something. Hopefully is um, either a bug or his toy. Usually he doesn't play with it. <laughs> oh, I gotta get fuel. 50 toys all over the floor? It's his catnip, that's what did it. Who gave him that catnip? <laughs> catnip made him uh, go nuts on the toys, apparently. 93%! Wow. What the hell? Actually doing okay. Oh, don't want that yet. Is this right near the grass? Oh my gosh. There's two toys down there. There's four on the stairs. What? He's just playing. Why is he going with crazy with so many toys? Look, I found a little goat. Oh, he brought out a goat. He brought out a goat. That's unusual. I've never seen that goat be um, brought out. Oh my god, why? He ha he was he he has he's just playing. Level two! You got it? Oh my goodness! On one life! You people in your class. <laughs> Wesley RPG, how is everyone doing this glorious Wednesday afternoon? Where do you live? It's Tuesday. Wednesday here. afternoon. <laughs> Wednesday. Where would it be Wednesday? I guess um, in Australia. Yeah. But it wouldn't be afternoon. I guess it'd be just after noon. Are you maybe? looking for oh, him? Oh, garden gnome. Are you looking for him? Did you bring out the goat? Inzi's in a very, very good mood. Yeah, he is in a good mood. What a funny cat. If only it was Wednesday. Yeah, yeah we're, we'd be much closer to the weekend. Oh, you want the goat? You want the goat? And that's it for that. But you I get an extra here? life. Do you want the goat? It's from Goats on the Roof on yeah. Vancouver Island. Oh, look at that tilty head. He's like, yeah, I might want the goat. I think I'll steal this goat. Oh. Does he think about stealing it? Yeah, he is. Cat need, cats need their claws cut really bad. Oh, I know. They're very sharp. They are razor sharp. I'm going to have to look at my injury after the show. <laughs> you playing with the goat? Where are you going to go over where the fuel is? Are you trying to murder that goat? Goats need to be murdered. <laughs> by cats. <laughs> oh my is god. The there's like obstacles now in the way. Like you have to go around things. Did you bring down... Yeah, there's two, two more fluffy... Uh... <laughs> What 143 him? on Wednesday here. Wow. wow. 143 in the afternoon. <sighs> uh, it doesn't... Oh, speed up. No, no, no. This level is terrible. I'm going to wait it out right here. Get to the fuel. Oh, there's fuel. Does it reset my speed? I hope so. Oh, there, oh, there you go. Woo. It's a good tactic. Go, go to the wall. Unless you have an open field. Oh, do you have the goat? Playing with the goat now. Oh, it's so cute. Eleven forty-five here Tuesday. You live in the future, Melbourne. Melbourne. Ah, uh, Melbourne's awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty fun place. According to James, I have never been there. It's awesome. Hi. Okay. Quick, what are the lottery numbers? Yes, quick. <laughs> uh, I need to bet on sports. What are the sports numbers? Oh, oh God. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it would have been destroyed. Oh, I'm not enjoying it. Garden gnome. Okay, we're just ending this. Ending it? Oh, you want to see the advanced level, right? Yeah. Just hit some rocks then. It's going to take too long. Rocket, rocket. Rocket. Three rocks I hit. Wow. Oh, no. Mo oh, Gamma Dev. Oh, Bob. <laughs> it was a good round, though. Yes. And I can always were... go back to that if I want. It's yeah. Cool. It's a, the enjoy level. <laughs> Ooh. What? Okay. Buy a ticket. Yeah. Wesley, if those are the, if those are the numbers. 
those aren't the lost numbers, are they? They're the lotto numbers. No, the numbers from Lost. Oh, are they? I don't know. That's what <laughs> I I'm don't asking. remember. Okay, so funny, let's funny. go. To, you go to hard. Go to the hard level. Best. Yeah, it'll go to Am the last one. Am I playing one hard? Oh, oh it didn't go to the best one. I just went to the first one. Ooh, I'm not sure what that is. Feels going down pretty quick. Yeah. Does this look harder in terms of stuff? Don't get that guy. I know. It's instant F. Oh, is there no fuel? Oh, there's normal fuel. No, but I didn't see an arrow for it, so I was just kind of oh, curious. Oh, yep. There's no arrow. That's a difference. So I didn't see in the instructions what the difference was between uh, different versions. I like that you can stop say. on walls. It's a very good thing to know. Oh, but those numbers are upside down, so they won't work here. <laughs> Fuel's not significantly going. I'm looking at cables. It's not for you. Not for you. So the fuel isn't pointed to, and I think it goes down slightly faster. Oh, fuel. why is my fuel so low? Because you ran over something. Did I? Oh, your fuel doesn't go all the way up to the top. <gasps> it doesn't refuel fully. So you have to go get fuel when you see it almost. Ugh. Why? <laughs> it doesn't, the fuel doesn't go down, but yeah. Oh, and it doesn't? No, it doesn't appear to. Oh, but I did not have to mow those. Well, we saw it. Okay. <laughs> also doesn't refill completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like me. <laughs> good stuff. Yay! Oh, it's so good to have a joystick yeah. for the links. Thank you again, Double Down. You don't understand how good it is. <laughs> um, so today so we nice. played four links games. We played On Duty. Uh, which was a super fun, uh, yeah. sh I don't know, adventure, shooter, overhead shooter. Mm -hmm. Walking around. I'm sure there's a, game, a name for it. It's not a shooter. Because a shooter is like a spaceship. Yeah. Not sure what's that, what that's called. Um, kind of a stealth game. Com yeah. Um, not a combat game. But not anyway. a combat. But no, I'm that was good. Think of, bug, yeah. bug Hunt. Fun arcade oh, really style good. game. Very cute. Gets good hard. Bugs. Lovely it's, colors and yeah. backgrounds. Fortitude, excellent implementation of 3D tic-tac-toe. Yes. Um, I can imagine if you really like playing it and you're really good at it, playing against a computer would be quite something. I quite like it. Yeah. I can see getting into the strategy of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Lawnmower actually got okay, decent at it. I made it yes. to level three. I got the hang of it. Yes. Um, you are fighting the controls a little bit with it. Um, because of the tile based movement. Mm. So you have to get adjusted to the joystick movements yeah. in that game. But once you get used to it, it's pretty good. Um, get 50 of those joysticks and sell them to ZPH. Yeah, fans, please. Yes. Um, he makes, he's, he's making 2,600 slash 7,800 versions. Yes. Um, and I think that would be more appealing uh to people because this is this is for the links like he did something special for the links for gotcha. this yeah maybe kind of i'm not sure um so maybe i don't know if people like zph maybe mm -hmm. we can get some yeah <laughs> some branded ones and make a, a run of them yeah uh they're really nice really compact especially with all these options of up down so nice oh my god yeah. this is gonna revolutionize 2600 gaming for mm -hmm. me um, being able to assign that second button and also be able to um, play Genesis games on a joystick control. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, who is. Or how? How is it hooked up? Uh, well, it's. The, the <laughs> links has Complex. been modded. Yeah. <laughs> um, AtariGamer.com, Igor, does mod um, links, uh, links 
handhelds into consoleized versions. So if you go to Atari Gamer, no, it's K-Retro is his sales website. Okay. So if you go to K-Retro, look that up, like K-Retro links, you'll find it. And he has a modding um, option. So he creates VJ out and a nine pin uh, out on Lynx's. He's actually made a more advanced one than this. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, that hooks up to an SNES controller that adds in the option buttons as well and the pause. Oh, nice. Okay. Most games don't utilize that very much. Yeah. And I haven't run into one where we'd have to like sit and press pause. Yeah. Um, so it's actually even better than this yeah. um, now. So great. It's, go for it. Um, and then it uses... Of course, the new one uses, say, um, uh, Super Nintendo. So this would not be useful at all. But uh, SNES has... Oh, I see. Has yeah. some arcade-style um, control controllers. So SNES, you, you could get different controllers for playing stuff on your links. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you, there's already one out there. Like I A like lot to of 2600 say... ba games have been hacked for two buttons. Yeah. So many. But yeah. the assignable button is still good for some that have it. Yes. I, I was I was about to say he basically uh, modded the links to be a switch. So there you go. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a dockable switch. A it's dockable a dockable switch. links. Yes. <laughs> and the VGA out is really, really good, as as you just saw. Yeah. It looks absolutely pixel perfect. It streams very well. Yeah. It yeah. streams very, very well. Um, so I don't know if Double Down wants to put out... You know, an, uh, an ask for that, like a ZPH branded joystick and we'll, we'll but see. But yours is very specific for your purposes, right? The one that you have. Yeah. I, and there are other very similar joysticks for different consoles. Yeah. I, Go to the website. Yeah. I think people would probably rather have a 7800s, 2600 mix, mm. which is probably more useful. And it's Viking Video Systems. Is that what it is? The website? Uh, it's good to mention it again because these are fantastic joysticks. So. Yeah, Viking just, video games. Let me just paste it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this is specific to the Atari controller. Yeah. Go on. Enter. Yay. Yeah. Uh, Atari controllers. But most people here. VikingVG.com. Oh, there's a shortcut. Probably uh, obscures the google sites thing that i posted in there anyway yeah there you go thank you link in my sig on atari age okay Excellent. that makes it easy thanks for playing on duty i will check the video later in, in order to get a bit of feedback and learn what was wrong with it perhaps wizzy will score better mm -hmm. um yeah for on duty i really didn't find any issues um yeah, played really, really it well. It did, yeah, yeah. Some of the maps are large. Yeah, but <laughs> that's that's just me. I'm I not, like that. I'm not I like the level maps. where it's like a big maze and you have to find your way back. And there's plenty of ammo and health. I think the balance was pretty good. Yeah. The only uh, difficulty I had was the last level, which it should be hard. It's yeah. The it's boss like the boss level, level. Yeah. Where you're blowing up the the warship. It was really cool level. It was a good level. Yeah, very yeah. very creative, and also the helicopters. That was super creative. Yeah. Um. So coming up on the show, we have a lot of premieres. The next three shows have world premieres, um, so you definitely want to tune in for those. Um, the first one is next episode. We're going to be have the exclusive Yay. world premiere of Space Taxi for the Atari Eight Bit. Plus a um, inter that's with Erlen. Erlen, yes, yep. that's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah, that's going to um, be really good. And we have an interview with the de the dev. Yes. Um, it's a, a written interview. Uh, then there's no show on the Tuesday after, but mm -hmm. we're back on the Friday after mm -hmm. that with an uh, exclusive world premiere of Karamuho, and we'll also be taking a look at When Hop: The Search for Planet ah. X uh, by Andrew Davy. Uh, it's crazy game. It's so much going on in that game. Nice. And that's why I just put it two two games that because we're going to be trying to trying to finish Karamuho. Yeah. It's a challenging game, but it's possible. We may have to cheat, but we'll see how we do. Um, and when Hop is still work in progress, but there's a lot to look at. Um, and then on the next Tuesday after that, is it a Tuesday? Yeah, it's a Tuesday. 
We have exclusive world premiere of... <laughs> um, it's a secret now. It won't be a secret when we play it. I'm going to reveal it, but you, I've posted in a bunch of places for people to guess what it is, and I put little hints. And I'll do another hint in a week, which will be very blatant. <laughs> like, it's obvious what it is. Um, um, and we have a live interview with Old Style on that day. Nice. Where we'll be talking about the new game <laughs> and also uh, what's going on with his Mario Brothers and Lunar Patrol, which nice. are both excellent games. Absolutely excellent, yeah. amazing games. Excellent games. Um, and we have some links and Atari 8 bits and 2600 games. Um, um, and uh, we also have, for sure now, 99%, we will be having a special ColecoVision homebrew day oh, as well okay. coming up. Okay. Don't know when. I have to arrange a bunch of stuff. It's going to be awesome, though. Um, also, Vectrex Day. Oh, I, I'm, ex I'm excited for another Now Vectrex we have day. Uh, an arcade joystick for the yes. Vectrex. Yes. A digital arcade-style joystick. Oh, my God. So good. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Um some other stuff as well oh yeah uh coming up later on we're also going to do another jaguar rotary controller special mm -hmm. uh playing arkanoid impulse x kaboom project w which is the warlords mm -hmm. uh, virtual experiences pong nice and also we have exclusive work in progress updates for turbo arcade awesome super fun game and yeah. it's been like completely overhauled if you can imagine that <laughs> Um, and also an, another uh, update for Elevator Agent awesome. coming up. No dates on that. Um, so where is Bernie? <gasps> uh oh. What happened to who? The Toco. Where is Bernie? <laughs> Where did Bernie go? Who took Bernie? Um, oh. I I bet the black kitten knocked it because he was up uh, here fooling around. We are gonna have to watch the surveillance video. I don't see a Bernie down here though. <gasps> Where did Bernie you. go? Oh, he's here. He's here. Oh, okay. Oh, he just got knocked down. We, we almost go. had to go to the surveillance video. Okay, yeah. <laughs> to find out. I'm sure he did knock him down. Yeah, at some he was point. playing around over there. there but he didn't Watch steal this. him. He just knocked him down. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Vitoko. Thank you. <laughs> got to rescue Bernie. Yeah. Got to keep keep an eye out. No, up. Bernie's left behind. <laughs> um. So so much coming up on the show. It's yeah. gonna be a lot of fun. Um. Uh, I think that's it. So enjoy your week. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be back on Friday. Yes. With, uh, with Erlen. With Erlen and Space Taxi. Space Taxi. So much fun. Um, oh, what is this? Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, Supreme. thank you for joining. <laughs> oh, it's like gaps he put in there. Interesting. Um, so thank you, Rod Kassler, Chalcedony Mao, uh, Beef Supreme, Rod uh, Vitoko, uh, Carrie, thank you for making that game. I hope awesome. you do continue with it. It yes, is yes, super, yes. super good. It does have a lot of levels. Already. Yes, yes. Um, nostalgic, uh, Chalcedony Mao. I saw Dan, AVC, oh, Dan jump AVC. in at the bottom there. Uh, double down, thank huge you. thanks once again for this, the Gorgeous. ultimate joystick for Gorgeous. me. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> So amazing. Wesley RPG, thank you for joining us from Melbourne. Yep. yep. Uh, Renard Ghost, Gamma, Gamma Dev. Dev. Who else? Breakfast Gypsy. Nice. Makes me hungry. It does. And Beef Supreme, I don't know why. Yeah. But now, now all of a sudden I want RC70. like... RC70. Like Taco Bell or something. Taco Bell. Rendered Ghost. Ground Trooper. Ground Trooper. Lots of people joining today. So Little Mac. Many. Little Mac for the first time. Chitlet Law. So many names. Like, I kind of missed them the first time around. Yeah. Thank um, you, everyone. So we're done. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. Yay. Make sure you, uh, you're you there for Space Taxi. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite C64 games. It was put on the 2600 recently. That's and awesome. now it's done on the 8-bit. So it's a great conversion. Uh, so see you on Friday, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a great night. See you soon.